Hey guys, welcome to the React Native Mastery course. In this course, we are going to build an e-commerce app which you can see on your screen. Okay, so let's uh, see a quickly of this app. So you can see that on the top we have an header component, and after that we have a, a header text matcher style, and we have a search input along with the search icon, and we can type anything. Okay, and we can close it. Now after that we have a scrollable category item which you can scroll and click on that. When you click on that uh, any category it will get highlighted. So we are also going to build this up. After that if you scroll down we can see a list of products item along with the product image, product title and the product price. And there is one icon which is like icon and if we click on that like icon it will get liked and it will become you know filled heard okay after that if we can see that we have how it's great looking ui it's looking too good right now if let's suppose uh, i want to uh, see the product about this so we have to just click on this product it will open a product details page and we can see that we are using a reusable header component which we have created already okay now it, it you can see that we have a product image and product uh, title and the product price we can select the size whatever size we want let's suppose i want the size will be large and the color which i want that is blue and whenever we click on any uh, color it will you know create another border uh, out of the color we all also going to build this up and if we click on add to cart you can see that that item is added inside our cart and you can see that on the bottom tab the cart count get increased with the one okay and you can see that uh, we have a my cart header and we are going to build only one header and we're gonna reuse that header component so you don't have to write header component and again and again after that you can see the price and the total price is 39 and if we click on this back icon it will went to the home screen again and let's add this denim jacket okay and the size which i want that will excel and the color which i want uh, that will be gray and add to when i click on add to cart the item is added to the cart and the cart count get increased with plus one and it become two and you can see that now the total price will get changed with the 109 and we are doing all the sum operation right now let's add one more item quickly so i'm going to use uh, this uh wind wind breaker okay the price is 59 dollar and let's select the color is a, a black and the size will which i want is a small and you can see that whenever we are selecting a size the color of that size get changed with black to red and let's click on add to cart now the cart count get increased with three okay now we have a three items inside our cart and we can see that the total price awesome the total price if you see that it's at 169 we are doing the calculation as well and let's suppose if i want to remove this denim jacket so we have to just click on delete icon it will get removed from the cart and the cart count get uh, decrease okay and we are able to so the total sum is also updated with the new value so we are going to pull this whole e-commerce app uh, from the scratch okay uh, this is like this is the project is beginner friendly so you guys can build it up with me okay so uh, we are going to build like you know reusable header component we are going to build this home screen after that we gonna build this product details screen and we gonna have a also called my cart screen i have also provided you guys the figma so there's a figma which you can see and you hack and reference of the, the course completion and can build it on by yourself okay and i will provide this figma link in the description you can check it out and after that uh, in this course what we are going to learn basically so if you talk if you're talking uh, about the libraries and technology we are going to use react native we are going to learn how to build bottom tap navigation okay and we are also going to use like how to build uh, this gradient linear gradient background using the react native linear gradient background we are also going to use react native vectors icons to use this to show the icons okay 
and we are also gonna use use context api to global state management basically when how does you know we can access the data from any component okay so we are going to learn about the use context hooks also and we are also gonna use the async story so we store the item if we reload our app still the data gets persist due to the async storage so we will also learn how to do CRUD operation using the async storage and this is the beginning friendly you don't have to have a lot of knowledge you guys can have learned uh, by following this course okay so this is the figma which you guys can reference in the list uh, after that i will also provide this my whatsapp group uh, here we can discuss if you guys have any facing any issue any error uh, regarding this course and following up my course so you can just ping me on the group anyone can help you out and i will also help you out okay so this is the introduction video in the next video we are going to do the product project setup and and after that we're gonna build this up so yeah that's all in this video uh thank you guys keep supporting keep loving and yeah keep building something new thank you bye hey guys welcome back to the course in the last video we have seen the introduction of our project in this video we are going to do uh first of all we are going to do the project setup okay and after that we are going to create this bottom tab navigation it's too easy we'll guide you how to build this bottom tab navigation okay and after that we are gonna set up the react native vectors icons to show these all the icons okay so let's do quickly the project setup so for the project setup what we have to do we have to type uh, on the browser react native okay uh, environment setup something like that okay basically you have to just type react native let me make your life easier and you have to just click on react native click on get it started and after that click on environment setup okay uh, after that if you scroll down this page there is one command called uh, this command npx react native at the rate latest in it so let me zoom it so this is the command npx react native at the rate latest in it awesome project the project name so if you just copy this com uh, command name okay and open your uh, folder whatever place you want to uh, you know create this projects or uh, set up this project so you have to open that directory okay so as you can see that i have a alisan directory inside that i had created one folder called youtube and inside that i'm going to do the project setup so i have to just click the right uh, right click and click on open in terminal okay and you have to just paste this command okay another way could be just you have to click on this path and write C cmd and it will open the command prompt okay so that's up to you whatever you want to do so i'm going to use my terminal and i have to just paste that command and uh, write the project name so i'm going to write the project name is called fashion e-commerce app okay and do hit enter it will gonna took some time so you can see that it's created a project and it's gonna downloading the template and will take some time so let's wait for some time now as you can see that our project is you know downloading it's with setup now after that what we have to do we have to open this project in our vs code or code editor so to open this using the command prompt you have to type cd and press tab okay so it will suggest the uh, folder name and just hit enter okay and if you have to just you know again type uh, tab so it will suggest any other folder name if you have another folder name so currently i'm inside my this uh, project directory and i have to just type code space dot and hit enter so it will open in the vs code this is the one way another way it like that like you know open your vs code just by clicking new window okay and just drag this uh, project to the vs code and it will open that okay and let me do my vs code so you can see that this is the uh, project which we have just created now let's uh, run this and see what we have inside it okay to run this project we have command called npm start we have to write npm start and after that you can see that we got an option to open to run on android we have to press a so i'm going to press a and it will start my emulator so let's wait for the emulator and for the first time it's gonna took 
a longer time like it could be take taken two or three minutes for you guys so we have to pay, be patient on this now as you can see that our app get started bundling and it will open this app in some seconds so let's wait for that bundle now you can see that our app is running here in the emulator and we can see that okay and we can see something this uh, component like welcome to react native okay so let's edit this component okay so basically they are using dsx but i'm going to use jsx basically dsx stand for tower uh, type script but i'm going to use javascript so let's rename this uh, folder uh, file name from uh, tsx to the jsx because i'm going to use javascript okay and let's delete whole code like you can see this is the whole code uh, if you can want to see uh, okay and i'm going to delete this whole code quickly okay to delete this whole code we have to just control a and just type delete or package space it will delete that whole code okay there's one extension which i just want to let you guys know that is called es shaman okay which i frequently use in this course so you can see this this is the es7 react redux graph uh, react native snippet which will uh, make our life easier so you have to install this extension make sure you had installed okay and after that uh, let's close this now to create a component in react native what you have to type after installing that just type r n f e s r n f e s stand for react native functional export with style sheet okay if i remove s and just hit enter so you can see that we had created a one react native export component default export component okay but but if you type r n f e s okay so how this is uh, suggestion is happening this suggestion is just coming from that due to the i installed that extension es7 so make sure you guys have installed that extension and if i type r n f e s and do hand enter so you can see that we get the style sheet as well and that's a difference between the using s or not using s okay so you can see that we have set up our our project now there's one thing which i'm not going to use so i'm not going to use eslin so i'm just going to comment this eslin code and i'm also not going to use prettier for now so i'm just commenting this code as well okay now what we have to do we have to set up the uh, uh basically react native navigation bottom tab navigation to set up that we have to uh, just type react native navigation okay once you type that you will get to the this website react navigation so just open that and click on read docs after clicking on read docs if you just scroll down there is one command npm install react navigation native you have to install copy this command and run in your terminal so i'm going to stop my emulator and just hit this command okay so it will install uh, this ex uh, okay this library is installed now after that if you scroll down uh, uh, below so there is another command called npm install react native screen and save area context so i have to also install that as well okay okay so it will install now after that if you scroll down more so inside the root app component we have to wrap navigation container okay so basically it should be a parent will be navigation container of your root component okay so let's do that as well okay so what they are telling uh, let's go to the app.jsx so we have to do like this navigation container okay and navigation container comes from the react navigation native okay we have to do like this after that uh, this is the setup for the react native navigation a basic after that we have to use bottom tab navigation so you have to click on a guide section and inside that we have a tab navigation you have to click on that and to use the bottom tab navigation we have to copy this command and hit on your terminal and let me do my terminal as well and just hit enter so it will install the bottom tab navigation as well okay 
now you can see a example of bottom tab navigation so let me copy this example that I'll link okay you can also copy this example uh, this is the minimum example of tab based navigation and it will become our life easier to understand the code again I'm going to start my emulator okay and we have to type a to run on Android okay so it will start running on this device okay and the code which I had copy from the, the source let me copy again and I have to replace this that code with the root app component okay so let's try to understand what is happening in inside this code base okay so so first of all what we are doing uh, okay let let's do from the scratch like I think you guys should know from the scratch so that will become easier so I'm going to create one component quickly okay so const app is equal to like this okay and return and this is how we create a component in react native expose default app okay this is how we create a component in react native okay and you guys the error view doesn't exist so we have to import view from the react native now to implement the bottom tab navigation we have to do some setup so first of all as they have said that we have to wrap our root component with the navigation container so you can see that we have wrapped the navigation container after that as you can see on this example we have to initialize the const tab and create bottom tab navigator okay so let's do that as well const tab is equal to create bottom tab navigator okay and we have to do like this and the bottom tab navigation is coming from uh, this uh, from react navigation native bottom tabs okay now after that uh, in this example you can see that we are having a tab dot navigator of the, the navigation container so let's do that as well so tab dot navigator okay and inside that we gonna have a tab dot screen okay and it's gonna be a taking name the name will be home and the another parameter is called component and we have to pass a component so for now I'm going to create one component here quickly function home okay and basically function is a component if you guys know the basic of react as well and this is how we create a function a com function or component in react native uh, home okay so you can see that and I can directly pass this component here okay and now you can see that we had created a bottom tab navigation right now in just few seconds so let me explain this code uh, thoroughly quickly so we're gonna have a uh, what options we gonna have we're gonna have a, a home okay and we're gonna have a, a another option called uh, basically reorder component as well so home reorder a cart and account okay okay so there's one more thing which I just want to know so I'm going to use camel casing for the name so home re reorder like this cart okay and uh, another component which we have called account as well okay so you can see that we can see a bottom tab navigation uh, with different name on the top okay but currently just rendering a same component home component okay so let's understand the code quickly what we had written it so first what we had done here we had created a one arrow com like arrow functional component we can have a normal functional component like this as well uh, whatever you can create that doesn't matter so I created one app component and inside that uh, you can see this is a uh, arrow functional component okay inside that we are uh, having a navigation container because they are telling we have to first of all do navigation container inside that we have to do tab dot navigator like this and after that we have to define all the screen whatever the screens we have to do okay and we can see that we had get the tab from the a create bottom tab navigator and bottom tab navigator is coming from the react navigation native bottom tabs and the navigation container is coming from the react navigation native which we had installed 
okay now another thing is that uh, what else we have to do uh we have to set up the uh, vector react native vectors icon as well so let's do that as well quickly to install the react native vectors icon what we have to do we have to just type react native vectors icon in the browser okay npm i and npm react native vectors icon okay so once you hit that you have to uh, just open that site and you have to just copy this command npm i react native vectors icons so i just copy this command let me again start my emulator and hit this command so it will install the react native vectors icon after installing that we have to so do some configuration as well for the react native vectors icon first of all uh, what we have to do we have to go inside the android app build.gradle and we have to just replace copy paste this command copy this code okay we have to copy this code okay and let's uh, go inside the android app build oh sorry my bad okay so where we have to go we have to go inside android app build.gradle so i'm inside android app build.gradle awesome and we have to just paste this command okay now after that uh, as you can see that i'm inside android app build.gradle okay the next thing is that uh, if you just scroll down they are again telling that go on the android app build.gradle and you have to just copy paste this code as well inside the dependency block uh, okay so i just copy that okay and if you scroll down uh, let me just scroll down uh, so we can see uh, there is called a uh, dependency block as well yeah there is one dependency block okay and have to uh, just add this line here okay so as you, as you can see that i had just added this line here as well so okay now after th that we have to start our server again npm start okay so i'm just again running my emulator and have to type a and make sure you guys also do the you know uh, after set up the uh, of react native vectors icon to restart your emulator otherwise you might get error so let's understand what we had done quickly for the react native vectors icon first of all we had just paste this command okay and after that uh, we had added this command as well inside the dependency uh, dependency block as implementation code okay now let's learn how we can uh, use the react native vectors icons okay because that is also crucial part okay before that uh, we are going to create one directory name is a source inside the root uh, root fold root directory and inside source directory i'm going to create a uh, another directory name is a screen and inside the screen i'm going to create one screen name is a home screen dot jsx okay and to create component uh, fastly we have to type r and f e s to create a comp uh, component okay now as you can see that we had created one component called home screen component okay now i just went to the home uh, this uh, app dot jsx inside the app dot screen i have to pass the component so i'm going to pass my new home screen component and just by typing that and you have to what you have to do you have to just select that text and type control plus space you will get suggestion and just import that file as well or you can manually import this file as well okay now after that let's go to the home screen okay and let's see how we can set up the react native uh, how we can do the see the react native vectors icon so first of all all if you scroll down there is one example for the react native vectors icon as you can see yeah there is one icon uh, there is one example like const icon from react native vectors icons so we have to just paste this uh, line after that uh, we have to do like this icon we have to define name what icon you want so as you can see that in this example he is using icon name as a facebook okay so we can have name as a facebook okay and then we can define a size as well size will be 25 and if i see that uh, let me scroll down 
So if you show you, if I show you, so you can see that we are able to see a, a Facebook icon. Okay, let's try with a different icon and how we can get access to the different React Native Vectors icon. So what do you have to type? React Native Vectors icon directory and just press hit enter. So you can see that we get a page React Native Vectors icon directory. You have to just open that. Okay, once you open that, we can see a tons of icon like from and design or so on. So I'm going to type as a name as a account. Oh my bad, the typo account. Uh, you can see that we are getting the material community icons and uh, many more others. Let's uh, type, let's arrow. So if you can see that we have and design icon and typo icon and many more others. So let's suppose you want to use and design icon. So how we can use this? So we have to just copy this name and design. Okay. And this line, we have to just replace this line. At the place of icon, we have to uh, define another name. And at the place of font or some like this is a font or some icon, we have to use and design just. Okay. And after that, we have to do like this and design. Okay. What icon you want to use? I want to use the icon name as a back or uh, this arrow right. Let's suppose I want to use arrow right. So you have to just type like arrow right. And we can define a size, whatever size you want. I want the size will be uh, 50. Oh my bad, the 50. So you can define a 50 as well. As you can see that this is the size of 50. Now as we can also change the color as well. So I want to color will be red for now. Okay. And this is how we can add a React Native Vectors icons. Okay. So so what we had see in the, what we had learned in this video basically we had seen the uh, react project setup we have set up the react native navigation we have set up the react native vectors icon setup in the next video we are going to add this uh, icons on the bottom tab all the respective icons okay and we will start working on the bottom tab navigation and the home screen okay before that let's summarize that what we had done and how we what we had done quickly so first of all what we had done we went to the react native website we had copied this command at the place of awesome project we define our project name okay and after that we open this project in our vs code okay now after that to install to set up the bottom type navigation we have to install react navigation for that we just went to the react navigation and we install this uh, this package react navigation native after that we install react native save area screen save area context after that we wrap our app component with the navigation container after setting up the react navigation native we have to install the bottom tab navigation so we went to the guides inside guides we have a tab navigation we install the bottom tab okay and this we just copy this uh, code and we just test it out okay how we build a bottom tab navigator and basically what how to build first of all we import the const tab is equal to bottom tab navigator create bottom tab navigator and in the root as we have already done the navigation container we have to just type like this and inside that we have to pass the name and another props is called component where we have to just pass the component name okay so yeah that's all in this video in the next video we are going to add the icons and start working on a home screen and if you guys facing any issue or facing any error regarding this what you have to do you have to just uh, you know scan this image scan this uh, on your cam whatsapp camera and send me a message like whatever so and you can join our group so yeah that's all in this video guys uh, see you guys in the next video thank you bye hey guys welcome back to the our course in this video we are going to talk about how to add icons to the bottom tab navigation and when we click on any icon so the color the change the color of the icon will get changed so we will also see that how we can add a custom color like you know how we can change the color of from blue to a different color okay and another thing is that which we gonna do we gonna you know add a linear gradient background to here okay and we gonna remove the header as well okay so these things are we gonna do in this video and the last video we have uh, seen that you know setup of reactive vectors icon 
setup of react navigation native and the bottom tab navigation okay so currently let's uh, first of all let's do the uh, setup let's add the icons to the bottom tab navigation as expected in the figma so you can see that we have a this home icon three uh, line icon caught icon and the account icon so let's add it quickly so if i show you the code so you can see that in our root app component we have a navigation container and inside that we are having a like you know tab dot screen as a home reorder cart account and other stuff okay so first of all what i'm gonna do uh, as you can see that we are a home uh, home screen and we can see this home header and if you click on reorder we can see this reorder is uh, header as well so i don't want this header header as well so to remove this header what we have to do inside the tab dot navigator we have to write a screen options okay and inside this we have some property a name is a header zone okay so that's a property called header zone uh, sorry basically uh, header zone and let's make it false so if i make it false this property so you will not able to see the header so you can see that the header gets removed from the uh from the uh, screen okay now the next thing is that which we're gonna do we're gonna we have to change this okay uh icon so let's change the icon as well to change to add the icon what we have to do we have to write uh tab options my bad we have to write options and inside this options there is one property which you have to pass tab bar icon okay and it will took a component whatever the component you can want to pass you can pass it so you can pass it right di like direct like this and you can have a like currently let me show you quickly so let's suppose i don't want to pass any icon i just want to pass a, a text as well so we can pass the text as well so icon let's suppose i just doing like this so you can see that we are able to see an icon okay so basically we have to just uh, return a component and that's gonna render the hair okay so let's add a one icon name is a home so to add a home icon so first of all what we have to do we have to type react native vector icons directory okay now when we hit that we will get to this page okay now this will open that page and the first icon which i want name is a home okay and i'm going to use this in typo icon in typo home okay to use this what we have to do so you can see that in the last video we have seen that uh, in the home screen we have to copy this like this basically let me copy this so basically to use that we have to type like you know type okay let me type it quickly here so what we have to do we have to write import the whatever icon uh, you are using icon source and we have to type react native native vector icons okay and slash we have we are using the uh, in typo right so we have to type in typo as well okay now after that what we have to do uh, let's suppose i want to use here so we can have like this in typo okay and the next thing is that we have to do name we have to pass the name whatever the icon we are using uh, so let's pass the name as well okay so let me pass the name quickly so the name is a uh, uh, home so let's pass the name and let's see what we are able to get on the ui so you can see that we are getting a, a small home uh, icon okay so let's change the uh, uh, you know the size as well so how we can get the size of this so if we uh, add up uh, you know curly braces and if we just type uh, space control plus space so we'll see that we have a size property we have another property called focus and another property called color okay so we have to just pass the size whatever the size we are getting so by default we will get the size as a 25 so we are passing that size as well so you can see that the size get increased as a 25 okay and the color what the color will be so the whatever the color we have we have to just do we have to just you know uh, pass that color as well okay okay now after that uh, we don't want to show this uh, you know this uh, uh, basically label so how we can if, if you see this figma if you see this figma clearly so we are not showing this any label in the bottom so let's see the let's uh, see how we can remove the label as well 
so we have property called tab bar zone label okay and we have to make it false so if i make it false okay so you can see that that uh, label gets removed okay now let's add a icon as well on this reorder a second icon as well second options so we have to type options and inside this we have called property called tab bar uh, tab bar icon okay and this is gonna be like this we are getting uh, okay let me do like this quickly and we have to pass the icon name okay so let's do quickly so I'm going to again just copy this code okay and just returning this code okay and let's destructure the size from here size and the color as well okay so if you see the second icon is also looking like home uh, but the second icon should be a uh, three line so for that the icon which I'm going to use called reorder okay from the material icon so you can see that we have a material order icon from different different but I'm going to use this material icons okay to use that what we have to do uh, at the place of end typo okay if you see there is called end typo right on the line number five okay so what we have to do we have to use for the uh, what we say for the material icons as well so we have to just type material icons at the name and the and the uh, last name as well now after that uh, at the place of end typo we have to replace with the material icons and at the place of home we have to write the name the name will be reorder okay now you can see that we get the reorder icon okay again let's uh, add this for the cart icon as well so we have to just copy this options object okay and just paste it here so you can see that we have pasted that and we are still getting the material icons reorder but the third icon is for uh, is called cart icon so to get the cart icon what we have to type just type cart okay and we are going to use uh, for the cart material community icons as well so if you just scroll down scroll down yeah this material community icons okay and the icon name is icon so let's add this well as well so so what we have to do we have to again just you know drag and drop and at the place of material icons we have to replace with the material community icons and here also at the place of material icons we have to use material community icons okay and at the last oh, at the card place we have to type material icons material community icons and at the place of reorder oh, we have to type cart and now you can see that we get the cart icon as well now there is one more icon which we need uh, that is called this uh, account icon okay to get that what we have to do uh, we have to type user uh, okay so let's type the user as well and that icon which we are gonna use from the font awesome 6 so font awesome 5 so I'm going to use font awesome 6 and the name is user so you can see that on the font awesome six we have a uh, one icon name as a user let's me check quickly why i'm not able to yeah so this is the icon which i'm going to use font autumn six to use this again we have to do again this copy paste at the place of material community icons we have to use font autumn awesome six and here also we have to use font awesome six okay now let's just scroll down and and here let's add right, type the code quickly we have to write options okay and inside this we have to write is uh, inside this we have to write tab bar icon my bad oh, tab bar icon okay and it's gonna took a one component okay and it's gonna be returning a one component as well okay we have to return a, a any comp anything like any uh, component so we are going to return that okay and after that uh, we we will get this you know size color okay and now we are using uh, the icon name is a uh, font awesome 6 and the name is user okay now you can see that we get the all the icons you know so if you check it out uh, this is looking perfect like as expected as as it looking okay uh, 
the we are using font awesome six and the user icon okay awesome awesome so we had created this uh, font awesome six user uh, so we have a home screen we have a three dot screen we have a card screen and we have added all the uh, icons as expected so let me quickly show you guys what we had done so basically first of all we remove the header so in false property we don't want to show the header on the top that's why we had passed one property name as a header zone as a false and we also not showing this tab bar label so we have a property called tab bar so a uh, soul label and we make the as a property as a false after that to add an icon on the bottom tab inside options we have a property name as a tab bar icon which take a component okay so we are having a like we are using different icon like we are using untypo icon and to use that icon any so we have to pass the name we have to pass the size so we are getting it by default size for this bottom tab navigation so size by default size is 25 we are passing the size and we are also passing the color okay but you can see that when we clicking on any icon the color become blue you know so we uh, let's change the color as well so that part tint color okay and we can have a red color as well so whatever we pass that color it will become that color okay now we don't want to pass a red color uh if we don't want to pass red color so you can check it out so this is the color like which i'm gonna use it so let's replace with that color i think that is ready okay so after that uh you can see that we have also import some different icons like import n typo icon react native vectors icon slash n typo whatever so sources we icon you're using you have to just type slash after slash and you can thoroughly use it okay so yeah basically this is how we add a icon to the bottom tab navigation okay so we have uh we had uh, seen that how to add icons to the bottom tab navigator we had also seen the changing the color of icon on click as you can see that we had added a property uh which when we whenever we click on any tab it will change the color of that icon okay now the next thing, task is that add linear gradient background to the home screen okay so how we can add a linear gradient background in the home screen so as you can see that we have a home screen okay and we have to use a linear gradient background okay so to use that we have to install one package name as a linear uh, name as a react native linear gradient so i have to just do it uh, search npm npm react native linear uh, gradient okay as you can see that we are getting a suggestion react native linear gradient just open that okay and after that you have to open this npm page you have to copy this command okay as you can see that we are like you know this type of background which we can build it up so i just copy this command okay i have to you know just stop the server stop the emulator i have to just paste this command and hit this so it will install the react native linear gradient okay so it is installed now let me again uh, start my emulator okay so let's wait for some seconds so yeah so it will install the again it will bundle our app now what we're gonna learn like we're gonna see that how we can add a linear gradient background okay so there's one example they have added like you know a linear dot gradient background example so i'm just copy this code okay at the place of this you know home screen i'm going to replace with this okay and let's import the linear gradient from the react native linear gradient okay now uh at the place of linear gradient uh we are gonna do a container name is a container okay now uh if i make the container for now container flex one basically what does flex two flex one whenever we type flex one it will took the whole screen width now you can see that we had created a linear gradient background okay so you can see that this is a different color and this in the bottom has a different color okay now what what color which we want we want the color the background color should look like like this uh you know light pink and it's become in the bottom uh light white color so use that what we have to do you have to click on this iphone 11 pro max and you have to just click on this you will get this you have to click on this first color so we will get this first color okay and when you click on second color you will get this 
second color okay now I'm gonna remove this whole color I don't want this blue color okay and I have to just replace with the first color and we have to use write hash before any color okay and the second color is also we have to write uh, which is this one FC okay and if I reload this so we can't see any changes right now so I just reload this and you can see that how awesome a uh, linear gradient background right now we can see awesome so yeah so we have seen uh, basically to implement this what we have to do we have to just install the react native linear gradient package and after that we can use it linear gradient and uh, we are like you know just like a view so we have can inside the container we are passing as a flex one okay and we are good to go so yeah we have also seen this how to add a linear gradient background in the next session what we're gonna do we're gonna see like how to build this reusable header component and this matcher style text search info and this uh you know draggable uh draggable category okay so yeah that's all in this video guys thank you uh bye and if you guys have any questions so what you have to do if you guys have any question so you can see that uh, we have a one whatsapp group uh this is the our whatsapp group zero degree folder so you can message me your doubt regarding this project if you're getting any bug any things if you need any guidance regarding the uh, regarding the react native so yeah please let me know uh and also like you know please support me for this uh, course and if you like this uh, course please uh, like and just have one comment on the below of this video that's all guys thank you bye hey guys welcome back to the our course in the last video we have seen that how to add icon to the bottom tab navigation how to change the color of bottom tab navigation when we click on any item we had also seen that how to add gradient gradient background so let's see like all the things so we have seen this you know how to add a icon to the bottom tab when we click on any item icon the color will get changed we will also see that how to add this linear gradient background okay now in this video what we're gonna do we're gonna create a reusable header component we're gonna create a header text and we're gonna create a search input field along with search icon okay so these are the things which we are going to do so as you can see that this is the header like you know on the header we have uh, this icon and this goal icon after that we have another text and we have this input field so this all this is all which we are going to design this in our this video let's see okay so first of all let me open the vs code now you can see that we are at the home screen component okay the home screen and we are sorry, signing with facebook so let me remove this okay so inside the source directory as you can see that we had created only screen directory now inside the source i'm going to create one another directory name is a component components components okay the first component which i'm going to create called header header.jsx okay and I'm going to type add NFES to create a React Native functional export default style sheet uh, component. Okay. Now after that, uh, let me render this uh, header component inside the home screen component. So I have to import this component. Okay. So I imported the header component, and as you can see that we are getting a header component, right? Now on the header component, we have a two image. The first image is like you know. Uh, the app icon and another there is one girl icon okay so we want this icon so first what we have to do we have to export this icon so i'm going to export this app icon as well as i have to also export this icon so we have to just click on this icon or uh, click on this image and after that we have to click on export so as you can see that we have exported this icons okay now inside the source i'm going to create another directory name is uh, assets okay and we have to just uh, drag and drop these icons okay so inside this i'm to just copy pasting this all the icons okay and let me change the name is called app uh, app icon okay and uh, header girl okay i'm going to name as a dp okay so we had imported you know we had downloaded two images from the figma 
and you know there's one more thing which i just want to add the figma link is on your description so you can check it out if you want to check that okay now uh, let's design the header quickly so if you see that we have a uh, you know this uh, header uh, this icon this image inside a, a circle so let's do that quickly so first of all what we have to do we have to add a view okay inside the view we have to import the image okay so i'm importing the image and we have to define a path source and we have to Im import the image so source require let's keep the path assets inside the assets we have called app icon dot png okay and i'm gonna write a style is equal to style dot app icon okay now we can modify the app icon size whatever we want to give so if you see in this video in this uh, icon we have the I height and width is 28 so let's give a height as a 28 height is a 28 and width as well as 28 okay now you can see that we had got the height and width of this okay now we also want to add this circle okay so what we have to do inside this view uh, we have to also add some styling so i'm going to name it called styles dot app icon container okay and after that we have to let's write the styling basically for this so i'm going to write background color as a this color okay this fff okay background color we have defined the background color okay as you can see that it's taken the whole width right now that's not a big deal we have to give define the height and the width as well the height and width is you can see that the 44 so i'm going to define height as a 44 and the width as well 44 okay and the border radius i'm going to give as a 22 to make it circle so whenever we have to make a circle we have to give you know half of the height and the width okay so as you can see that it's become a circle but the image is not in the center so make the image in the center we have to write justify content center okay and the align items center to make it center horizontally and the vertically so you can see that the image get into the center after that you can see that uh, we had designed this uh, we have another girl image as well so let's add that as well so uh, i'm going to remove this header text and we have to import a girl image as well so a style is equal to styles of my bad so let's import the image quickly require not like this image source require and let's add the path and the db.png okay now as you can see that the height and the width is too high let's add a custom style styles dot dp okay so i'm going to style this dp as well so the dp height and width as you can see that we have to give 44 so the height will be 44 and the width will be also 44 okay to make the image more circle look so we have to give some border radius is 22 okay now you can see that we got this dp in a smaller icon but you can see that this is not this is in column direction so we have to make a flex direction as row okay so the container this is the container okay so let's add a container style it's style is equal to styles dot uh, container so let's write the styling for the container as well so this is the container okay so i'm going to write flex direction as a row so when i make a flex direction as row so you can see that they come in a one direction okay now what i'm gonna add justify content will be space between okay so they will go in a different direction okay so yeah that's all that's how we can make this header component looking like a wow okay to add this padding so basically to add some padding what we have to do we have to go inside the home screen and inside the container we gonna give some padding will be 20 so you can see that the padding is now looking well okay now uh, there's one more thing which i can add as well so we can have a line item center to make it 
look like a more center okay so yeah now uh, after that uh, we had designed this header reusable header now whatever place we need we have to just you know reuse this component whatever place we want uh, like whatever if you want this on the product details screen we have to just import this comma this component and we can use it this is how we build a reusable header component so let's understand like how we build it up first uh, we have a view inside the view we have a container so the container is like flex tags and row justify container space between and an line item center to make it a center looking like a center okay now after that we have a app icon container in the app icon container i define the background color height and the width and the border radius and justify content center and i item centers to make the item inside make it center and we have defined the app icon width and height and we have also defined the icon uh, height and width for the dp okay so this is the header component uh, which we had designed right now so we have seen that how to design reusable header component okay now the next thing is that we have to style this matcher style okay so let's do that as well so I'm going to inside the home screen okay and after the header we have to type text and inside this we have to type this we have to just uh, you know select the text just copy paste that text match your style okay and what we have to do we have to style this we have to style this uh, the font size is 28 and the color is black so let's do that so we have to write like a style styles dot uh, match text so I'm going to name as a match text okay and if I scroll down we have to write like this uh, font size will be what the font size is 28 and the color is this black so let's add a font size with 28 and the color which I want that is called uh, 000 now you can see that we got the text right but if you see in this video we have some uh, you know margin top and the margin bottom as well so let's add this uh, margin top quickly margin top will be 20 so you can see that uh, we get some margin but i think it still needs some more margin so let's add a 25 margin okay now it's looking better than the last one okay now uh, we had created this matches style text now after that we have a one you know search input field along with the search icon so let's design that quickly as well to design that what we have to do we have to write like this view and inside this view we have to write uh, uh, okay so we have we need what we need one text input along with this search icon so so I'm going to call this view as a styles dot style dot styles dot uh, name input container input container so there is one typo okay now inside the input container we're gonna have a two uh, elements the first is icon and the second one is called input field so let's add an icon so to add the icon uh, let's went to the react native vectors icon directory react native vector uh, icon directory okay and just me open let me open this and we have to search write search okay so we get the search icon and i think i should prefer uh feather icon looks uh, i think evil icons looks better and let me search another icon as well i think this font is looking well uh font is so so i'm going to use this font is icon this is looking better to use this icon uh, what we have to do we have to do like this uh, let me do import fontiso from react uh, react native vector icons slash uh, slash fontiso fontisto okay now after importing that we have to write like this uh, inside the input container view we have to uh, Font is so okay. Let's give the name. The name is search. Okay, and we can define a size as well. Size will be whatever you want to pass for now 20 and the color whatever I want to pass. 
okay so as you can see that we are able to see the uh, this search icon on this view and let's see what is the search icon color so the search icon color which is uh, something ccc so let's do that okay so the search icon color is this color and the font size is like you know if you see this icon size is called 26 so let's add a size as a 26 instead of 20 okay now uh, after that we have one input con input uh, field as well we want input text input text input okay and i'm going to call as a style is equal to uh, styles dot styles dot text input text input okay now let's quickly style this input container so let me hit this like this and like this okay so after the match text i'm going to write input container the background color is white which we want so you can see that this is the cover the white so i'm going to give background color as a white okay the height what i the height is like you know almost 48 and some border radius is a 12 so so let's add a height as a 48 not more than 48 my bad the height is 48 okay and the border radius which you can see that border is 12 so let's add a border radius as a 12 border a radius is a 12 okay now after that which you can see that the search icon is not in the center to make the search icon center what you have to write justify content center okay so when we write justify content center uh, it doesn't work anyway okay so what we have to do we have to write align item center align items center if i write align item center it went to the this center so we have to remove justify content center just having a Line items center okay now after that if you see styles of text input so we have to make it uh, as a text input make it a uh, flex as a one okay if I make it a flex as one nothing changes. so before that we have to also write flex direction as a row currently the flex direction is column way and that's why it's not working well as expected so if I just you know show you the by adding a border width, so you guys have able to understand it better manner. A border color will be uh, for now black. Okay. So as you can see that uh, before like without applying the flex direction row is this is how our text input looks like. But when we apply this flex direction row, so we get this like this and the flex is a one. So we are passing the we are taking the rest of the width. Okay. Now uh, after that uh, there is one more thing so let's add a styling to the font so as well style okay so I am gonna wrap inside a view uh, and this is gonna be style and style thought icon container icon container okay and uh, let's style the icon container as well. So what I want, I want some margin horizontal as a uh, margin horizontal at a 20, 22 or 30. It's too, I think too much. So let's make it 20 and I'm going to remove this border width as well. Okay, so you can see that we are able to uh, looks good. Now I think it looks good if I make it 15. Yep. Now. Uh, you know in the input container we want some margin uh, top as well so inside the input container I'm going to give margin top as a 10 okay I think uh, margin vertical let's give the margin vertical instead of margin margin vertical will be 10 uh, let's make it 20 okay now uh, if you see uh, we have a we have to add a placeholder text as a search so let's add a placeholder text inside the text input as well. Place holder has a search. Okay. Now if I reload this is so you can see that how looking matches style text. Okay. 
so we have seen like you know uh, how to create this match style text we have seen like how to design this input container along with the search icon okay and after that uh, we have seen this header text we have seen the like, search input field along with the search icon so yeah that's all in this video i think in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna see that how we can design this a uh, category button and after that we will talk about how to design this product icon okay so let's summarize the system of what we have done quickly so basically we had created one directory name as a component header component and inside this we have a container we have an icon container like this and just having a some flex action row justify container space between align item center uh, all the properties okay and inside the home screen we are just you know calling that header component after that we have a one text called match with style okay and we have defined some uh, you know font size font weight all the things and to make this input container like you know how we make the input container we have to find an input container and inside that we have icon container which we are giving some padding as well, some margin and after that we have a text input so you can see this is a text input where we had added some style so yeah that's all in this video guys uh, see you guys in the next video and design with this uh, category button thank you bye and please let me know guys if you have any question on the this course please let me know and if you face any issue any error so what you have to do you have to just open this uh my whatsapp uh, you have to just scan this using your whatsapp and just send me message on the group like whatever bug or whatever issue are you getting and if you if you need any guidance or any help just let me know thank you bye hey guys welcome back to our course in the last video we have talked about how to create a reusable header we have seen that how to create header text and search input along with the search icon okay so let's see that whatever we had done so you can see that this is the header and this search uh, input along with the search icon we had created in the last video in this video we are targeting to create a horizontal is category is callable basically this is the you know category section where we can use that and it's called this category so we are going to style this uh, we are going to build this so let's see how we can do it so first of all uh, i'm going to create one component name is a category okay uh, in the address in the component section i'm going to create one file called category dot jsx okay now i went to the home screen now you will see that this is the all the code for this is the linear gradient and after that we have a header match with style text and we have a search input code okay now here we have a called category category section okay and this is the code for uh, uh, sorry input container input uh, container so I'm adding comments that is become easier for you guys to understand that as well so I'm going to call as a uh, category so let's import the okay first of all let's create a component of category by typing the r n f e s okay so it create a category component and let's go to the home screen now i'm going to import this component category here okay now as you can see that uh, it is imported the category component now let's design this category so you can see that on the category uh, we have uh, some height and width as well and uh, do some border radius so let's do that quickly as well so we're gonna have a text as a like you know trending now text as well so i'm just going to copy paste this text with a trending now as you can see that now i'm going to add a uh, style here style is equal to uh style dot uh style dot category text okay now let's style this as well quickly so so first of all we have to specify uh, a font size the font size is that you can see the font size is 60 and semi bold okay so let's add that as well font size will be 16 font weight will be uh, 600 600 okay now after that we have to also add this you know a uh, background color so and the color is you know this color let's add the color as well color is this color add 
add a background color as well so background color will be uh, like this this is the color which we want okay awesome now as you can see that we have created a trending now button but it's taking a whole bit okay that's not a big problem we will figure it out now we have to specify a height and width as well so let's do that as well the height is uh, height is 41 okay not like this let's give some padding so that, that is become easier padding will be 20 okay uh, let's give our text align in the center text align center okay and uh, after that uh, what we gonna do uh, we had designer uh, trending now and let's add uh, some border radius as well border radius will be 20 oh yeah it should be okay 16 also works 16 i'm going to give a border uh, radius is 16 okay now we can see that we have created a trending now component okay now to use this what we have to do to make it like is callable and we have to do like this let me show you guys uh, what we have to do uh, we have to do like this uh, flat list we have to import the flat list we have to pass a, a data like this data and we're gonna have a category data so let's create a category data here quickly so inside this I'm going to create a category uh, categories categories we're gonna have a trending now categories uh, all new all we have a gonna have a new we have a gonna men's we have gonna women's uh, women's category there's all the categories which we have which we have and uh, let's pass that okay now after passing the categories we have to pass a component as well render item will be our component so that will be our category component okay so as you can see that we are able to see this uh, trending component and what we have to do as well we have to pass uh, 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 sorry something called uh, let me show you something uh, list direction something there is one property called uh, uh, Okay, before that we have to also pass one object called key extractor where we get the item and we're just passing the item for the key extractor and something called there is one direction like you know uh, which i'm forgetting right now uh so okay so we gonna have a horizontal as a true we have to pass a horizontal as a true to make it horizontal is callable okay so as you can see that it's become horizontal is callable just by passing this property okay now we are able to see this perfect now let's go to the category and design the stuff as well so first you can see that the, the padding is too high so let's make a padding of 10 instead of having a 20 okay now as you can see the padding become 10 okay now we also want to give some margin horizontal as well the margin horizontal will be a 10 as well and if i reload this so you know whenever we do some changes we have to reload this because it's a flat list okay now i think it's looking better but uh, the padding horizontal we which we need more so i'm going to give a padding uh, horizontal as a 20 and i'm going to remove this padding top for now uh, padding top will be get removed okay and the padding uh, vertical now i'm going to give it some padding vertical vertical will be uh, 10 and if i reload this let me reload this now as you can see that this is looking much more better okay but you can see that uh, uh this is the looking like well well but as you can see that this is this call like you know this is looking like this so we are showing this uh no indicator so we gonna have to remove this as well so let's remove that to remove this is callable uh, what we have to do uh, we have to write uh, so uh, horizontal is called indicator as a false okay now uh, the next thing is that what we are gonna do uh, basically when we click on this item you know if we click on trending now it will should get clicked to the trending now if we you know we gonna have to create this like this this functionality 
so we, what we gonna do we gonna create a property called calls selected uh, selected category set selected uh, category okay and by default uh, use state gonna be now for now okay and what we gonna do we gonna pass uh, some property to here inside this component so to pass this component what we get we get the item from here okay not like this we get the item like this here and inside the component category component we have to pass this props so first props is item we have to pass the item and the second prop is called category uh, selected category is equal to selected category and the second property is called set selected category and it should be value of set selected category set uh, set selected category okay so what we are doing we are passing is all the properties selected category is a state and the set selected category okay now let's read this all the property from here okay so first property is called item and the second property is called uh, selected category and the third is called set uh, selected okay let's copy paste from the here set selected category okay so we are getting three there's three all stuff okay and instead of showing only trending now we have to make it dynamic we can make it dynamic like this item okay so as you can see that we are getting all the items right and when we click that it should get updated to like you know let's uh, we have to make like this we have to make we have to make like this uh, let me remove, remove the background color by default the background color which we need uh, let me do that so by default the background color should look like this uh, this color okay so let me do like this so as you can see that the background color become like this and the color which we want if by default color is this color so let's copy paste that color as well so <coughs> So the color which you you know you can see that this is the color which we want. Oh my bad. Okay, this is the color for the background color. So now as you can see that we have a trending now all the things buttons. Okay. Now uh, let's suppose if I do selected category. So if uh, we have to add extra styling here. Okay. So to make this extra styling, what we have to do? We have to do like this. If selected category is equal to is equal to item then what you have to do then you have to add a property called color as this color okay this color I want to add and the background color will be uh, this color okay so let's add the background color as well okay so you can see that we had added condition if selected category is equal to uh, item and then what we have to do we have to add this prop styling as well so if i reload this if i click on this nothing happened nothing is working because we had not listening to the this we are not setting updating the value we are not update let's update the value as well so at the place of uh, view we are going to use touchable opacity touchable opacity okay and let's do that touchable opacity okay. and on press event what we gonna do we gonna set selected category as a item whatever item we are getting whatever item we are getting uh select select into item if i click on trending now you, you can see this this is get selected and the selected category value is also getting get coming as a selected value so if i show you the currently selected category value is coming as a null and if i clicking on any uh any tag so that is value become and we are checking that if selected category is equal to item then update the item with this color perfect so this is how we create a uh, horizontal scrollable uh, horizontal scrollable flat list property let's summarize this stuff quickly whatever we had done to like so first of all what we had done we went to the home screen component we created one dummy component name as a category so as you can see this is a category component here what we are doing here we had just created one text and inside the text we had passed them the styling like you know the category text font size font weight okay and the background color and the text align center all the properties uh, and 
बॉडी रेडियस मार्जिन हॉरिजेंटल पैडिंग हॉरिजेंटल पैडिंग वर्टिको ओके आफ्टर दैट वॉट वी डू वी वी क्रिएट अवर फ्लैट लिस्ट दैट इज द फ्लैट लिस्ट वी आर पासिंग अ डेटा सो द डेटा इज लाइक दिस कैटेगरी स्प्रेडिंग डाउ ऑल न्यू मेन्स एंड होमेन्स ओके एंड वी आर पासिंग इज आर दिल्ड आइटम वी हैव टू पास अ कॉम्पोनेट ओके बट वी हैव टू पास सम एक्स्ट्रा पैरामीटर एज वेल फॉर दिस यू नो टू मेक इट हाईलाइट सो वी आर गेटिंग द आइटम वी आर पासिंग द आइटम वी आर पासिंग द सेलेक्टेड कैटेगरी सो वी आर क्रिएट अवर स्टेट कॉल सेलेक्टेड कैटेगरी से सेलेक्टेड कैटेगरी बाई डिफॉल्ट यूज स्टेट वैल्यू इज नल ओके If I make the by default state value is a base, so you can see that the by base will get selected by default, as you can see that. Okay. Okay. So we have created one state selected category and set selected category. Okay. We are passing this those those properties to the this category component as, along with the item. So we are passing the item. We are getting the item from this render item, and we are passing the selected category set selected category. We went to the category component. We destructure this all the value item selected category set selected category. Okay. And we are having our touchable opacity. Inside this, we are just rendering the text. And whenever user click on any item, what we are doing is we are just setting, we are updating the set selected category value with the new value. Whatever the user click on that, okay. And after that, what we are doing, we are checking that if selected category is equal to whatever the item the user gets selected, does it matching with the current item? If match, then add this property like make the background colors of this. And the color with this, okay. And the by default color is this color, okay. So this is how we make a uh, scalable flat list horizontal, uh, uh, you know, category component, okay. So yeah, that's all in this video, guys. I think uh, it's quite a bit uh, easier to make it. I know for you guys, like you know, passing this data is one of the most crucial parts. Uh, one of the most crucial topic in. You know how to do uh, pass corporate data from one corporate to another corporate. So that's one of the most crucial part which you guys should know, and that's why like you know I love to cover this topic like you know, and you guys maybe mastery this after building this course. Okay, and there's one more thing which I just want to add. If you guys facing any issue while creating this flat list or header corporate, uh, this uh, just let me know in the group. So we had a one group. Uh, I always tell uh, to you guys like we have one group. uh let me show you the group so this is the group uh you, what you have to do you have to just scan to your what by opening your whatsapp and you can join our group and if you are facing any issue any simple error just click to in the group we will help you out okay and apart from that yeah that's all in this video guys uh in the next video we are going to this uh, create this product card uh, this you know this product card uh and yeah that's all in this video guys thank you uh bye Hey guys, welcome back to the course. In the last video, we have seen that how to make this header, how to make this a scalable category component, and how to manage this state whenever we click on any category. Okay, so in this video, what we gonna do? We are going to design this product card. Okay, as you can see that how it's looking good. We gonna have some scalable. This all the things user can like the product and so on. Okay, so basically what we are targeting for today uh, on day five. We are going to create a product card component, and we are trying to wrap up the home page completely. Okay, so let's try that. How we can do it? First, if I go go to the home screen, so we are showing this, you know, categories components. Now we gonna have a next thing called product component, product uh, list. Okay, so first of all, let's create one component. Name is a product, product card dot jsx. Okay. So as you can see that we have created one component called product card. Let's create a uh, quickly a uh, one component by typing R N F E S. So it created one product card component. Okay, I went to the home screen component and now you can see that uh, let's understand the code. We have a header component. This is text component, and we have an input container. We have a this category section. Okay, now we are going to do what? We are going to do the product listing component. So first, let's do it like this. We're gonna have a one view for now, and let's import the product card which we had created right now. Okay, so as you can see that we are able to see a product card which is coming in the bottom of this uh, screen, and that's too weird. Like why it's coming in the bottom? So let's try to debug that. So you know we have a flex one. So I'm going to remove this flex one property because I don't need any flex one property. Okay. 
because it's gonna be one is callable something like that okay and we have an input container and we have a text input and along with the this okay cool so we're gonna have a product card okay so I just created one two pro two product card component because in this row and this uh, you know in this one row has a two column that's why I created one two component right now and we're gonna style this as well so style will be display if okay so let's do flex direction as a row okay now as you can see that we have defined a flex direction as a row and let's go to the product card component and let's start designing this component so first of all you can see that we have a one image okay so let's import a one image export so what we have to do to get this image we have to just click on this image and we have to export this uh, image so I just exported it and I'm going to rename this, rename this uh, image name as a girl okay and inside this my directory inside the asset directory I'm going to just paste that okay so let's go to the product card component so first of all we have a one view and inside that we have a title and the price okay so first of all uh, we have a view okay and let's add a one image quickly image and we're gonna have a source okay and let's uh, require that image so the path is on the assets directory on the assets we have called gold.png okay and i'm going to style this is a style dot uh cover cover image okay and let's style the cover image as well quickly so as you can see that the height and the width of this image is like almost 256 okay and some border edges of 20 so let's give the height of 256 and the border radius of 20 okay border radius of 20 now when we see that we also have to give some you know uh, width as well so let's do that as well like that so what we're gonna do we're gonna make the parent component as a styles dot container style dot container okay and for the container I'm going to give the flex one property okay so it will took the with rest of the element okay now you can see that we are getting something like this that's too weird okay let's add a width as well also width will be what width will be 167 for now so let's add a width for now 167 okay now you can see that we are getting this uh, item like this okay and if I uh, you know we have to give some give some you know uh, margin vertical will be 10 okay so I think now it's looking better yep. and uh, after that uh, we what we have uh, okay let me show you, you know how it's looking for border if I make a one border width of one and border color so you guys understand the you know all the stuff how it's gonna looking so you can see that we had defined now you know on the home screen we have uh, defined a flex action as row and inside that we had running to product card component on the product card component we had given some uh, flex one so it taken the 50% width of this and 50% width of this okay and after that we had defined a height and width if I make the width as 100% and let's see how it's gonna looking so this is how it's gonna be look like and after that uh, what we have to do we have to do margin horizontal will be 10 as well to get some margin so it should be like this margin uh, left I think I think margin right looks better okay uh, margin right 10 so we're gonna have uh, some okay let's leave it I think uh, we can have a like this if I just remove it and to get some spacing between this uh, item what we supposed to do we can have a like this justify content space between okay and if I make the space between still it doesn't work okay 
so instead of doing like this we can have a, some margin right here so let's go to the product card we're gonna have a margin uh, right margin left will be 10 if I make it still it doesn't work for me okay leave it then so I think I can make it 90% width and we're gonna get some width okay perfect so after that uh, so as you can see that first of all what we done we have designed a container the container is flex one and we had defined an image we defined the image style as a cover image the height is 256 with 100 percent border radius 20 margin vertical 10 and margin left as a 10 okay now uh, after that what we're gonna do we're gonna have a one this price tag uh, title text and the this text okay so we have a color this and the font size is 18 so let's add a add as well quickly so we're gonna have a uh, text and the title is jacket jeans and we're gonna style it as a style dot title okay and let's style this as well quickly uh, font size will be what will be uh, 18 okay and the color which uh, which we supposed to be uh, let's do that color which I want it's called black this asterisk 444 and have some font weight as well almost 600 okay cool I think looking better and we're gonna have one more text uh, that is for the price so let's add the price as well so we're gonna have a uh, this price text and we're gonna have a price name and the color of this price is like gonna be this and 18 same so let's add a price font size will be 18 as well color will get changed to this color uh okay let me do it right now so this is the color and after that we're gonna have a font weight font weight will be almost 600 okay and awesome i think it's looking better okay now as you can see that we need some you know this is out of this uh, so we need some padding as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna create a one view and inside this view i'm going to put my content and i'm gonna do like this style <coughs> styles dot content okay style dot content and i'm gonna name is like you know content and padding horizontal will be 10 if i make it padding horizontal 10 so you can see that it's went uh in the action so i'm gonna do this padding left will be 10 uh, not 10 I think let's do it 15 uh, 15 my bad uh, 15 padding left 15 I think looking better uh, yeah this is how we had designed the product component and uh, I think we need some more margin top so we're gonna have a margin top as a 10 more okay yeah perfect I think perfect now if we go on the home screen for now let's just look once more time to see how it's gonna look like so this is how it's gonna be looking awesome now we can see that we have a one hot icon as well this is the hot icon which we have de designed so let's design that as well so what we have to do react native vectors icons directory we have to go there and just type hot okay so we had typed the hot and we get this uh uh and design icon i think and design icon looking better so after that uh, let's go to the product card component okay and i'm gonna have a one view okay inside this view i'm gonna just you know use the and design icon okay and let's import the and design as well so import uh, and design from the react native uh, vectors icons slash and design okay so i get the and design 
and the name will be uh, what's design the name will be what name will be hot hot to okay uh, to get the hot and the size will be what so let's define the size as well so the size is almost uh, 20 2020 20. so let's, let's define a size as well the size is 20 and the color which we want the color should be what color let's check it out on the figma quickly so this is the color of this uh, heart so let's copy that and replace that color as well and if i reload this app and check it out so you can see that we have a uh, you know heart icon with the color of uh, red now what we want that this heart icon should be on the top of this image okay uh, in the here so what we have to do we have to do some you know positioning we have to play with the position to play with the position what we have to we have to write a style a style dot heart container heart container or uh, like container like heart container is not looking too good name so i'm gonna name is like container okay now the like container will be like you know some you know uh, height and width so for that first of all we're gonna have uh, some color color will be 34 34 oh sorry my bad height and width is 34 and the color is uh so let's define a height with 34 and background color will be a uh, white okay and if i reload this so you can see that it's something looking like this okay so i'm gonna have a justified content as a center as well align items center as well okay we have done the justify content center align items and we're gonna have uh, some border radius to make it circle by passing a data as a 17 okay now you can see that we have a heart icon and to make this uh, you know on the top of image what we have to do we have to apply position as a absolute and on the parent where we want that uh, I want this on this this container so what I have to do I have to do position relative okay now what we have to do for the like container we have to make on the top from the top uh, from the top it's, we want 0 and from the right we want almost 15 if I make this this is looking like this so I think we need some more uh, not margin from the top so we make the 15 I think we need some more so let's make it 20 more no not more so let's make it 20 as well this one this side as well from the right side oh awesome now it's looking much more better which i suppose to do yeah this is looking perfect now when we click on this heart icons this should convert to the fillet icon okay to make it fillet what we have to do we have to do something like this so basically to achieve that uh let me show you how we can do it so is like set is like we're gonna have a one state quickly to understand that by default it's gonna be a false false value and if it's like value if it's like this true then we're gonna have a so something this icon and design if it's false then again I'm showing same icon now what we're gonna do uh, you can see that uh, different we are seeing conditionally icon like same icon so instead of showing this icon the we gonna show this heart icon field icon okay so if it's true then we have gonna show the is like this true okay instead of having a view we're gonna have a use touchable opacity my bad touchable opposite touchable touchable opacity okay i imported touchable opacity from this uh, react native okay and when we click on this it should be you know uh, make the update the state on press we're gonna make up change the state by set is like is equal to uh, make it is like okay the if i make it true then you can see that awesome so this is how we can create a heart icon as well perfect now uh, you can see that this is looking awesome 
now uh, we're gonna have a you know flat list instead of having all this uh, data we're gonna have a flat list so i'm just you know commenting this code for now and we're gonna have a flat list okay and here we're gonna pass the data so let's suppose we're gonna have uh, some data one two three four five uh, six for now and we're gonna have a render item component inside the render item component we have to pass the component product card okay and now you can see that it's throwing some error invalid hook calls and the thing we are getting issue because this is the because of this state this thing error we can't call the user state inside the child component while using the flat list so i'm just making is like a uh, component uh, by default true and i'm going to make it remove it okay so instead of doing like this uh we're gonna pass the that state as well so currently i'm just removing it for now and we'll explain you why i remove it okay so i think it's looking much more better now let me reload this quickly awesome so we have some data looking like this that's too weird right one two three four five six component okay and let me close this application we got some hang so I'm going to open this up again okay now you can see that this is the data looking like this we have to do what we have to type column number of columns will be 2 okay if I make a number of columns 2 so now you can see that we are getting you know this uh, this becomes studying much more you know uh, the category component become weird so let's fix it so you know whenever we are scrolling that you can see that the list of the item is not scrollable okay so what we have to do to make the list of the item scrollable so inside this uh inside the flat list component in the header component we have one property called list header component inside that we're gonna have to pass the whole component so first of all let's pass the category section code so i just pass in this as well okay and if i scroll down so you can see that the category is also scrolling so we have to also make this is callable this input container as well so we have to pass inside this okay inside the list header component and if i scroll down so you can see that it is scrolling and we have to also pass this this text inside this list header component okay and if i reload this okay now if i make it is called to the top now it's working as well expected awesome so yeah that's how we can build a you know a scrollable product listing component and uh, this one more thing which i just want to add guys that is called you know we are we don't want to show this vertical indicator to make this vertical indicator as a default false so what we have to do we have to go there and so vertical is called indicator we have to make it false okay now you can see that we are not able to see that vertical is called indicator okay now there's one more thing which i just want to add like you know which we have talked about uh, rendering this hot icon so what we have to do uh, i'm going to create one state called const is light is light set set is light okay and the use state by default gonna be a false okay now uh, here we are running our product component right where is that mm, yeah here is that so instead of doing doing like that we gonna do it like this we get the item we get the index and we gonna have a product card here we are passing item as the name is item and we're gonna also pass this property uh is is like the state as well is like this equal to the value will be is like and set is like and pass the set is like the state as well okay now let's go to the product card component we have to destructure this is like a uh, prop property value and set is like value as well so let's import that as well now you can see that we have is like so if it's like this true then we are rendering this hot icon 
otherwise we are just rendering this outlet outline icon now we have to make it function level so make it function level what we have to do we have to do like this set is like is equal to the opposite value of is like the value if I make it true so you can see that it's currently it's becoming all the properties are true but we have to handle for the individual as well so let's summarize is what we have learned in this video okay so I'm going to just close all the component so in the home screen what we had that we had created one flat list uh, let me show you guys the flat list which I created this is the flat list which I created for the product list we define the number of columns as a two and we're gonna have some data one two three four five six and we are rendering one product card inside the product card we are passing a, a is like set is like property okay and in the product card what we have done we have created this uh, this card is style dot contain the, inside the content we have given the margin as a one and we can give some margin top as a 20 as well okay. now mm, we are like you know rendering one image after that we are showing the content jacket jeans price all the stuff and we are handling this stuff okay awesome now uh, you can see that when it's calling now it's not more it's calling to add that as well so we have property called container uh, content container is basically there is one style which we have to pass that is called uh, content container style content uh, container style and we have to give some padding uh, bottom will be almost 50 now if I make it 50 so you can see that now it's scrollable if I make it 150 it will be much more scrollable like this okay so yeah that's and another thing is that we have also given one list header component and all of the data which we want is scrollable we have passed that all the data inside this list header component okay like this as you can see that okay so yeah we have talked about like you know we have what we had done completed it we have created a product card component we had uh, completed the home page now what we are going to do in the next video we are going to create a array of data where we are gonna render the different images and when we click on any product image it's open to the product details page okay so yeah that's all in this video guys uh, see you guys in the next video and if you guys facing any issue or any any uh, things just let me know in this group okay you can ping me on on this group and yeah that's all in this video thank you bye hey guys welcome back to the course in the last video we have seen that how to create this product card component and we had loop inside a flat list component we have also seen that how to make this scrollable this category button and this text info field okay so let's understand the last code quickly so we are inside the home screen component and you can see that we are having a linear gradient uh, component and after that we are rendering a header component so that's why it the header component is, is sticky and after that we have a product a flat list where we are passing a number of columns to that's why we are getting two data in a row and after that we have passing one props called list header component and inside that uh, we had passed some this text and input container and we are having a category section as well okay and whenever you pass any component inside the list header component that is almost is scrollable that's why this the this match style component is scrollable after that we are having you know passing a data one two three four five six and that's why we are getting six data here and inside the render item we are rendering a product card component okay and here we are passing item is like the state and set is like the state as we have created above on the top okay and we can toggle this is like the state okay perfect now uh, in this video what we are really, uh, going to do thoroughly basically uh, we are going to make the dynamic product data mapping okay this is first thing basically we are having one data and we're gonna loop that and we're gonna make the light functionality works basically when we click on a single item that will only items get clicked after that we will see like how we create nested stack navigation basically we gonna have a nested stack navigation uh, basically when we click on product uh, product page product it will open to the inside the nested uh, navigation so we will talk about how to do nested navigation and we gonna create the product data screen okay so let's do the first thing dynamic product data mapping 
uh, so for that we need a data to get the data what we have to do i will provide this uh, repository link this is the repository link you have to go inside the data and you have to click on data.json you have to just copy this data okay and i will provide this in your data this uh, link in the description box as well so you have to just copy this you know copy this data copy this raw file after that what you have to do you have to create one directory inside so inside the source directory name as a data okay inside that i'm going to create a file called data.json and we have to just dump all the code dump all the data okay after that we have to go inside the home screen component okay and we have to import that data so let's import the data import data from us uh, inside the data slash data.json file okay so we have imported that data file okay and now i'm going to create one state called const products set products okay and by default in the user state i'm going to pass the products uh, sorry uh, data dot uh, products state so basically inside this product state we are gonna have you know this all the data okay and after that instead of like rendering this one two three four five six we are going to render this data uh, products data and if you thoroughly see it look at the data we are having a 20 data almost and each data is object has a id image title and the price as you can see that okay after that let's go to the home screen if i scroll if i reload the app now you can see that we are getting almost 20 data okay now after that uh, inside the product card component you can see that we are destructuring the item and the index okay we are passing that item and is like the state and said is like the state to the this component so let's go to the product card component and make the dynamic all the things okay so first of all let's make let's make the dynamic to the this image so here we have to also destructure the item as well from the props okay and the first parameter which we have to do that is called rendering the image to render the image we have to write uri and we have to write item dot image okay now as you can see that the all the images become dynamic okay and you can see that they have we have added all the image this image url another and so on okay now after that we have to make the title as well dynamic so what we have to do you have to write here uh, item dot title as you can see that the title is the key for this uh, different key so now you can see that we have leather jacket blue jeans blah 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 okay now let's make the price dynamic as well so we have key called item dot price okay now as you can see that the price become also dynamic perfect now if i reload this uh, so you can see that there is one bug if i making if i clicking on one heart it is you know making it all the hard selected and deselected now what i supposed to do basically if i click on a single heart it will only uh, uh, highlight that only one single heart so what we have to do so we have to go on the home screen component and i'm going to create one of function called cons handle liked okay and here we're gonna get the item okay now what i'm gonna do basically I'm gonna do new products okay first I'm gonna run a loop on existing products products dot map okay and we get the item now after that what I'm gonna do if item dot sorry I'm going to name as a product instead of item product if product dot ID is equal to is equal to is equal to item dot ID okay if it's matching with the the parameter which I'm getting what I have to do basically I have to return this like this and we have to split this product state after that I'm gonna do like is like is like is it true okay now after this uh, if it's not part of a block we have to write return product now if you understand this code base so what is happening we are having a products array we are just looping that item and we are checking that if product or ID is mapping is equal to with the the item which I'm passing then what we have to do just split the whole object and make the is like as a true okay otherwise return the else object okay now after that what we have to do we have to set product as the new products new products okay now after that 
we have to pass this handle like butt function to the hair uh, inside this so we don't want to pass this as well okay it's like there is like we're gonna pass this only handle like the state okay and after that let's go to the product card component and if we check only if item dot if item dot is liked is true item dot what we have to check item dot is liked is like property is true then only we have to uh, you know uh, render this highlighted dot as otherwise uh, render the normal heart okay if I reload this okay now still you can see that it is still uh, rendering this hot icon so that's a bug let me figure out once more so first of all you know we are getting let's remove this is like set is like state we are gonna have a handle like function we are calling this function and what we have supposed to pass here inside here we have to pass the item okay now item dot is like is initially is gonna be uh it's gonna be false so it always render this hot state okay which i'm wrong i think okay so we have to do like this so if i click on any heart icon so you can see that it's becoming like this so the mistake is that which i was doing basically this if its item is like this true then we have to render this uh this heart icon the colored heart icon this is the color heart icon this is uh, a colored heart icon basically filled one okay this is the filled one icon and let me reload this quickly now as you can see that we are having a heart icon if i click on any heart icon so it's only reflecting that heart icon so let's understand like how it's happening to understand this so let's understand quickly so we are let's remove this port because we don't want so what is happening we are having a product state instead product state and we are passing one function handle like this state so we are here we are getting the item whatever the item user clicking on that so first i'm mapping with the product dot map and i'm checking that a product or id mapping with the this id basically if, if that id exists in the product object so just add on one property called is like this true and after that you just i'm just setting the uh, updating the with this product state okay now here we can see that inside the product card component what i'm trying to do basically uh what i'm trying to do basically i'm just getting a handle like this state okay and after that we are uh, you know just updating the all the images and whenever you click on hot icon i'm just passing that item and we are checking that if item is logged is true then render this hot icon fill in hot icon otherwise render this normal hot icon okay so yeah that's <coughs> yeah that's how we have to solve this problem so if we take a look in the notion so we have seen that how to make dynamic product data mapping make the like uh, functionality works so after that we have to work on a nested navigation functionality so let's see how we can do that as well so let's first of all when we click on this uh, this tab button this product card it should open inside this uh, another screen basically so that's why we want any, any another screen name as a stack navigation as well so to get the stack navigation what we have to do you have to type react navigation okay react native navigation okay just open this now click on red docs as we have already set up install this react navigation native and we have also installed this package as well and after that you have to just click on this you have to install this package stack navigation just copy this command paste it here and hit enter okay now you can see that it get installed now after that what i'm trying to supposed to do guys let you know quickly so the thing which i want to do if we go to the app.jsx okay now uh, here we are having a tab screen name as a home right now here we are having a child component like you know uh, the home screen the the product card has one child component as well right now basically what i'm trying to tell you guys is that like home screen gonna have a one child comp child screen as well basically when we click on this it should be open the product details screen and that's why we want a nested navigation to get that what we have to do basically let me remove this code i think we are not using okay so basically what we have to do we have to create one 
const my home stack component my home stack okay inside that what we have to do we have to return like this okay and inside that we have to do something like this uh, let me show you guys so we have to first initialize const stack is equal to create native stack navigation so after that let's import this as well okay and we have to do like this stack dot navigator and stack dot screen so let me copy this quickly okay and have to do like this okay and stack dot navigator and stack dot screen okay so first of all uh, first of all what we gonna have we gonna have a home screen and let's import the home screen as well so we have already imported the home screen and we're gonna have an accession called product uh, let me rename this name in the camel casing form like capital casing and another component called product details okay and let's go to the source directory inside the screens i'm going to create another component name as a uh, product details screen product details screen dot jsx and i'm going to use rnfes command to create a new react native component okay now let's go to the home back uh, home component and we have to just paste that component and just type control plus space and import that product to the screen component okay now after that here we are just rendering a home screen component now here we have to pass the my home stack this component okay and instead of having a home we have to name as a home stack okay now let me reload this quickly if i uh, reload this my bad uh nothing working okay so let me stop the server because something is crashed right now so i'm going to type npm start again okay so it will start the server and again do the rebundle stuff so let me type the stuff again so if i thoroughly explain you what is what i had done so first of all i install the star st stack navigation after that i gave one um, function or component called my home stack here we are having a setup called home screen where we are passing the home screen another screen called product details screen where we having a product details screen okay now after that let's see that okay now uh, let's go to the home screen component here we having a product card okay now whenever user click on this component it should navigate to the product screen and this icon should be highlighted as well and that's why we are using a uh, nested navigation okay now what i'm going to do const navigation is equal to use navigation okay now uh, to navigate from one screen to another screen we have to use uh, use navigation hook okay now as you can see that we have added touchable we have replaced the view with which the touchable opacity and add a one on press event as well uh, here what we gonna do basically here we gonna do navigation dot navigate we have to pass the path so the path gonna be product details component okay so let me pass that path and let me reload this quickly now if i click on this card as you can see that we are getting into the product itself screen and it's highlighting this card as well this icon as well and that is possible only because of the nested stack navigation like nested navigation now if you if you i if you can see that we are showing this headers as well so we can opt, you know we can remove this uh we don't want to show these headers to remove that what we have to do we have to type had headers shown as a false as a false if i make it false now you can see that if i click on this now we can't see any uh this uh basically uh header header gets removed perfect now let's go back to the product card again now let's suppose i want to pass some data as well so how we can pass the data basically we have to just pass the data like this inside the item object okay now let's go to the product details screen product details screen now uh, we have to design this screen like this like this okay so let's design this thoroughly quickly so to design this first of all what we have to do we gonna have a you know i use a linear gradient background because it's it's a linear gradient background to use that linear gradient background we are already using on this home component so let me copy paste quickly copy and let's put the this product details screen 
so you can see that I just copy and paste the linear gradient and let me import this linear gradient from as well okay now uh, you can see that whenever the component is reloading we are get back to the this home screen page and that's become our de development flow to fix that what we want that the initial router name should be product detail screen so how we can trigger out this so we're gonna have one property name called initial router name and we can define as a product details screen and if I reload this so always it's gonna render this product details screen okay perfect now let's go to this component and we're gonna have a container inside the container what we're gonna do we're gonna pass the flex as a one and now you can see that awesome uh, gradient background okay now we're gonna have a one view and inside this view I'm gonna style this styles dot header container okay and after that we are gonna have a header component so now now you can see that we are importing a header component here okay now if I show you guys uh, how it's gonna looking so this is how it's looking header container now I want some you can see uh, look at right here so we have uh, some padding and margin to give that padding and margin what we have to do we have to type header container sorry my bad we have to type header container okay and we're gonna have up giving padding as a 20 okay now if I make it padding 20 now you can see that it's looking well after that we are having one image this gold image so let's add an image quickly uh, we're gonna have an image we had imported the image and we're gonna have a source okay and we're gonna have a like uri okay i've already have a one image so i'm just copy pasting that image from this repo url uh, let me copy that image uh, from this repo so we're gonna have a product detail screen and i'm just copying this image this looks image cool that's why i'm using right now okay so this is the image url which i'm going to use image url okay now after that uh, let us style this as well like we have to give some property styles dot uh, styles dot cover image cover image okay now let's thoroughly give the styling to this cover image so it's gonna be width will be 100% the height will be I think uh, height what should I give 550 if I give 550 now you can see that's too much I don't want to give too much so if I check it out to the Figma so what is the optimal size is that 430 the height is 430 so I can give like 420 almost yeah I think it's looking better okay now after that uh, this component uh, image we having a called winter code title and the price so let's add that as well quickly now we're gonna have a view and inside this view I'm gonna call this style as a styles dot content uh, container content container okay and inside that we're gonna have a uh, one text the first text gonna be winter code okay and another text for this uh, price so let me copy this price as well okay so let me replace with this price okay now you can see that this is how it's looking so let's style this as well so styles dot uh, title title and styles dot style is equal to styles dot price okay now let's copy this content container so we want in a one direction this content container so flex direction will be become row and justify content will become space uh, between okay now you can see that it's went to the this direction okay now uh, let's style this title and the price as well so the title size will be almost gonna be uh, font size will be 20 and this color okay the font size which I want that's 20 and color which I want uh, that should be like this okay now uh, I think the font size looks better 
now if we check it out this uh, we're gonna have a font size is 20 and we're gonna have a, some font weight as well uh, font weight will be almost 500 I think for sure uh, 20 and this is also 20 only the color get changed right so we're gonna have a same title like you know let's add like this style dot price and we're gonna have a style dot title style and the price style on the price style the color gonna be changed so let's add that <laughs> the color will become uh, this like this let's check it out uh, the color will become something like that so let me copy that color and replace that okay looks better now you can see that some, there is some margin horizontal from this uh, left and right side so let's give some margin horizontal as well uh, this are just this content the margin horizontal will be 20 if i make it 20 uh, looks better okay now after that we're gonna have a size something as well so and after that let's add a margin vertical of 20 as well okay now uh let's do one thing the size property let's add a size text so we're gonna have a size container here we're gonna have a view and its style is equal to styles dot size container size container and we're gonna have a common text called size so let's add a size quickly from this here uh, text we're gonna have a size okay and let's add a property called style is equal to styles dot size text okay and we're gonna have a size content as well so what i'm gonna do basically let's move the size text to the up of the uh, this uh, container and let's style that as well so size text will be something like this uh font weight 20 and the same so what i'm going to suppose to do basically instead of having a another styling for this size text what i'm going to do I'm gonna do like this styles dot style and the comma will be style dot size text. Okay. Now the size text I'm gonna give some uh, margin only so size text uh, gonna give some margin uh, what margin horizontal will be 20 20 okay now it looks better after that we have we are having a some you know size like this okay let's do that as well so what i'm gonna do basically we're gonna have a cons sizes and we're gonna have a called sml excel so we're gonna have a s we're gonna have a m l and excel okay now if i uh, you know go here and inside the size container what i'm gonna do supposed to do so what i'm sizes dot map we get the size okay and here what we are going to do we are going to return a component i'm going to return a component here we are having a view and inside that we are having a text and we are having a size as well and instead of having a view i'm going to have a touchable opacity okay and let's replace with this touchable opacity like this my bad touchable opposite oh copy paste okay now you can see that uh, this is coming in this direction so first of all let's uh, do the size container styling the size container will be flex direction as a row okay and the margin uh, horizontal will be 20 as well okay now uh, for this text style is equal to styles dot size value size value okay and we're gonna have a styles dot a size value container okay uh, I think I'm um, size value container okay so let's copy this copy this now let's add some styling for that as well so we are having a size value container and another property is called size value 
okay let's add a font size of uh, the font size will be almost 18 pick 18 so let's add a font size of 18 okay and now looking better now what I supposed to do basically I'm gonna have a uh, some um, okay let's see let's check it out so as you can see that this is the height for this uh, round circle we are having a 36 36 height in width so let's add a height of 30 36 width of 36 and we're gonna have uh, some border radius of 18 to make it circle and background color will be uh, has like 3 ff so let's copy paste that as well now let me reload this if i reload this it's it's causing some error because i make a typo here okay now you can see that uh, we are getting some you know like this okay now we have to make justify content center and we're gonna have a align item center as well okay now let's increase the font weight the font weight of this will be a uh, medium as well so let's add a font weight font weight of uh, 600 okay now it's looking better now I need some you know uh, between the uh, this uh, container so we need some margin uh, what margin horizontal will be almost 10 perfect now after that uh, I think the size looks better as ML Excel now what I want to do basically if I click on any item the color should get changed to this color okay so how we can do it basically so let's do that as well this functionality so we're gonna have a one uh, functionality called const selected const uh, select selected size set selected size and by default use state gonna be null okay and let's do that quickly if now I'm gonna add a property here basically uh, if selected size is equal to this size okay then what I'm gonna do basically uh, the color will gonna be this color uh, EFFF okay now here what I'm gonna suppose to do on the touchable opacity on the press item I'm going to do like this set selected size will be this new size okay now if I click on this okay nothing works if I click on this nothing is working right now let's check it out so set selected size so let's see it does it updating the value uh, nope so let me do it again I'm clicking on any item it's not updating because uh, let's check it out so we are having a size stretchable opacity and we are updating with the set selected size uh, with the new value size value and if I console here the size uh, my bad if I click on this nothing is working right and that's too weird like sizes dot map okay and if I console the size here, here and click on this SM Excel, why it's not touchable opposite is working. So let me close this quickly. Let me open this again. Okay. Now we are having this, we are calling this function on the on press event. If I click on this, now it's working. So because that was not working because the app was not loaded in a right manner okay now basically what is happening now whenever we are clicking on touchable opacity we are set, setting a state set selected state and the height size value will be slmxl whatever the user is selecting on that and if that is selected value is equal to the this size so i'm adding a color is a this color perfect now after that we're gonna have a colors as well so let's add a colors as well so we're gonna have a, a color container text and we're gonna have a colors and I'm gonna just copy this uh, styling that as well here for the color styles dot title and the size text will be 
uh, become like this uh, 20 and the color will be gonna be same as well and we're gonna have uh, some margin uh, top I think so let's add the margin top so we're gonna have a color color text okay and let's add a margin and some padding as well so we're gonna have a color text okay and if we check it out here yeah color my bad let me i was making a type of color text okay so now what i want to do basically i want to give some um, margin a margin hori margin uh, horizontal will be 20 and the margin top will be 10 okay now is thing looking better okay if you check it out that we are giving margin horizontal 20 awesome now you can see that we have to do like this okay basically when we click on any color so it should become that color okay so first of all let's copy that all the colors uh, to loop that colors so we are going to create one array const uh, const colors and we are gonna just replace that as well all the colors so instead of replacing that copy pasting again and again I've already have one array colors array so I'm going I'm going to just replace that array the colors array as you can see that we have like you know get all the colors array okay and let's do that now we're gonna have a one view and inside that view I'm gonna name as a uh, style is equal to style dot uh, color container container okay and we're gonna have a colors array dot map we get the item here what we're gonna do basically here we're gonna return a component the first component and inside that component we are gonna return another component another view okay and basically uh let's do like this so we're gonna have a style and style start a circle basically so let's style the circle quickly so the circle will be looking like this height will be almost uh, if i check it out the height is almost 36 36 so let's add a height as well 36 width will be 36 as well border radius will be almost 18 okay now you can see that nothing is appears here because we are added not a background color so let's add a background color uh, as well so we're gonna have a background color as uh, instead of having item we're gonna have a called color we are going to call this color now you can see that we are getting color like this in a different direction right so I'm gonna call this color container let me scroll down color container and we are gonna have a flex direction as a row okay awesome now you can see that this is the color container looking like this we are gonna have a border radius as well to the circle and let's add uh, some uh, margin horizontal as a 20 okay uh, and after that uh, this circle property is not working why we are having a volume release of 18 and let's add uh, some margin uh, vertical margin horizontal as well margin horizontal margin horizontal of 10 as well so and okay, 10 and we're gonna having a border radius of 18 and why it's not working this border radius so we are having a style dot circle and background color here we are defining a height and width border is if i make 20 yeah perfect it's now it's working reflecting okay now you can see that we are having a color like this but what i was supposed to do basically if i click on any item so it should if it should become a one you know create one border on the top of it so what i'm gonna do basically uh i'm gonna create one another style is called circle border okay and let's do that quickly 
okay and let me do that quickly so the circle border gonna be looking like this uh, border width will be gonna one okay and the same border radius will be gonna be same something like this again but what I supposed to do basically uh, if I check it out so we are having having a 48 48 so let's make a 48 instead of 36 we're gonna have a 48 we're gonna have a 24 okay now you can see that this is looking like this too weird right so let me remove this margin horizontal 10 okay now uh, the select circle content what I'm gonna do basically justify content center not oh my bad align item center okay now and uh, instead of having border width as a one I'm gonna make it two okay and I think this is gonna work like this align item center so it will make the item in the center and the justify content center so it's gonna make the item in the center awesome now if we uh, uh, basically if we click on any item let me reload this quickly now I think margin that give me some margin as well here margin horizontal will be 10 not 10 let's make it 5 5 uh, 5 now what I supposed to do if I click on any item that color should get applied to the that border width okay so let's do that as well so to get that what I have to do basically uh, inside this view circle container we have to type border color and that color okay is gonna be this color as you can see that is become color now what I supposed to do basically if uh, we're gonna have a const selected selected color set uh, selected color and by default uh, it's gonna be null okay now whenever you click on any color that color gets selected so let's add a touchable opacity touchable opacity and we're gonna have on press event here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna call this set selected color gonna be uh, this new color okay now after that uh, if we are having a selected color like if you click on a color so that's uh, gonna be only highlighted right so what I'm gonna do basically uh, here let me remove this quickly now here what I'm gonna do basically if selected color value is there then only write this color property right if I click on this uh, Okay, so nothing uh, it's not happening in the right manner so what I have to do basically if selected color is equal to this color okay if selected color is equal to this color then at that point of time only make the border color with the same color and this border width also get uh, removed from here border width and it's gonna be added to the this circle border so let me add this here border width gonna be 2 now let me reload this now if I click on the any circle so you can see that it's becoming a like this awesome perfect now after that we're gonna have a one button called add to cart so let's quickly design it as well and we had designed this color container we're gonna have a button container okay now we're gonna have a touchable opacity inside there we're gonna have a text called add to cart so add to cart let me copy this thoroughly add to cart and we're gonna have a background color with this height will be 66 okay so style style is equal to a button okay and we're gonna have a text as well style is equal to uh, styles dot button text now uh, let me call this like this in if you scroll down and we're gonna have a button 
so the button gonna be background color as you know that we gonna have a background color with this color okay now you can see that and the height the height gonna be 66 so instead of giving height i'm gonna give a padding of 66 now let's check it out it's not looking so weird so i'm gonna make it uh, 20 padding okay and the font size with uh, which i want let's add a button text uh, and gonna have a font size of uh, what the font size is gonna be 24 24 and the font weight will be semi bold so let me add a 600 and the color should be uh, white color should be a uh, white let's add a color a white okay and the text align gonna be center perfect now as you can see that we need some padding and mar margin as well so i think padding will be 10 looks better yep let's keep some margin uh, of 10 as well Okay, I think looking better and after that we're gonna have some border radius border radius of 20 yeah looks better so yeah we have designed this product details component as you can see that okay now let's go to the whole app to JSX instead of having a initial router name product details let me remove that and let's reload this okay now if you click on this you can see that it's opening on this new screen right let's go back if i click on this it's again opening a new screen and we can select the size color all the things whatever we want and we click on add to cart awesome now what we want to supposed to do whatever the data we are uh, let's go to the product card component so you can see that we are passing a navigating the product details component and we are passing an item data as well so what i'm supposed to do basically we want that it should render that image that that all the things okay so how we can do that we have to go here we have to write like this const uh, route is equal to use route okay and what we have to write console uh, console dot log route dot item okay I think route dot so route dot item you're gonna have a route dot params dot item and you can see that we are getting that this object we are gonna having an ID and so on so we're gonna have a like this cons item route dot uh, params params dot item okay we get the item and instead of showing on uh, this static image let me do like this item dot image perfect now and after that item dot title gonna be render here item dot title and instead of showing up this static price let me do a dynamic price item dot uh, price as well okay now you can see that it's if i click on this uh, beautiful girl and you can see that the winter shorts and the price is doing swing awesome uh let's go back okay. so now you can see that this is the uh, product detail screen which we had designed and the next so let's summarize this all the stuff so we have created this nested navigation we had created product detail screen now in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna create a card header component and the card the screen design okay now let's understand this quickly what we had done all the things let's thoroughly revise it so first of all in the root app.jsx what we had done uh, inside the tab screen we have a home home screen we are rendering home component so we are rendering now home stack and we have created one component called my home stack here uh, we have defined our home component as a home screen we are defining a product to the screen and we calling product to the screen okay now in the home screen is you can see that this uh, we had added this light functionality uh, basically what is happening here uh, whenever user click on any uh, icon 
they like the icon so what we are doing here we are adding one property called is like as a true on this uh, item id on this object whatever the object is it okay and we are updating the set product state okay now it's a product card component as you can see that we whenever we are clicking on any component we are navigating to the product data screen along with the we are passing a data in the props as well as an item okay now if we go to the product uh, data screen so what we are doing here we are getting the route we are reading the item using the route.param.item and we are just renting the item.image item.title item.price as well and this is the things which we had designed right now okay and we can click on this it becomes selected and so on okay in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna create work on a this add to cart functionality so yeah that's all in this video guys i will also provide this figma uh, github link for reference you can check it out and if you are guys facing any issue regarding this project so what you have to do as you know that you have to just ping me on my whatsapp so let me uh show you the group icon image so this is the group uh zero degree coder group here what you have to do you have to just scan this group scan this uh image with your camera and you can join our group and please let me know if you guys have any question thank you bye hey guys welcome back to the course in the last video we have seen that oh, like how to create this product with the screen and this color this all the things we had learned about this now in this video what we're gonna do that we are going to complete this project quickly so what we are targeting to complete this like we are going to create cart header component cart screen design we are going to use async storage and we are going to use use, use context hooks first of all what we are going to supposed to do uh, let me clarify you first we are going to create one screen called cart screen and we are going to create this header okay so let's uh, do that as quickly so first of all what i'm going to do basically so i'm going to create one screen name is called cart screen cart cart screen dot jsx and i'm going to create one component called rnf es okay now after that let's go to the home j after jsx and here instead of rendering a home component i'm going to create render cart screen component okay now as you can see that we are running cart screen component and you can see that we have a you know linear gradient background to get that linear gradient background what we have to do we have to import the linear gradient background to this okay and after that we have to pass a colors to pass the color what we can copy this colors from here and we have to just replace it here okay now after that uh, let me add a style as well to this container styles dot uh, container okay and let me uh, write this style here so we're gonna write con we're gonna have a container giving flex as a one okay now in the root app component instead of like let's uh, you know, whenever we are rendering uh, whenever we are reloading a component it's navigating back to the home screen okay now what i want that it should be by default it should be on the cart screen to make this possible so we have one property called initial route name we have to pass the name which route you want as an initial okay so i reload this now you can see that we are rendering a cart screen only and you can see that we had created uh, this linear gradient background okay now after that we're gonna have a one header component okay so let's import the headers header component and after that if you see that the header looking like this right let's add uh, some padding as well the padding will be around 15 if i make it 15 now it's looking well perfect now if you see that for this header we have like this the back icon and the my cart okay so let's do that as well so we are going, going to do pass one property called is cart and we're gonna have a passing a property as a true value is a true okay let's go to the header component and i'm destructing here if is cart is true okay if is cart is true then what i'm gonna render that i'm going to render this back button icon okay so if it's is cart is true so let's do that as well so basically what i'm gonna do here let me show you 
if is card is true then i'm going to render one uh, component you know one icon import so this back icon is where let me show you so we have to type react native vector icon directory okay and let me open this so we want something like this this back button or uh, this uh, back okay so we are having a uh, this Chevron uh, back I think let me try like this uh, search like this so we want like this icon Chevron back I think okay so if I check it out yeah Chevron back looks better so I just copy this uh, icon name and let me do it so I'm going to use I know icons and have what I have to type react native vector icons slash i know icons okay and if its card is true then basically i'm going to render i i know icons name will be name will be children back okay and let me remove this space quickly children back color will be what color will be uh let me check it out so the color which I want that is red okay so let me copy that color as well uh, red color okay and now as you can see that we are might getting some okay if it's, it's card is true then render this component else I'm going to render this image component by default now if I make it format and reload this now you can see that we are getting this arrow icon okay now let's pass them size as well the size will be for this icon will be almost 24 let's pass a 24 okay I'm going to pass a 24 perfect now you can see that we are getting this back icon awesome now we are having one text as well my card the size is 28 okay so let's do that as well so we are having a one text my card okay and let's style that as well style dot my cart okay here what I'm going to do right the font size will be almost gonna be 28 and some font weight color will be gonna be black color gonna be black okay now let me reload this so now we are getting this awesome looking my cart okay now if we can show that if we go back there home screen so we can't we are able to see the my cart so let's handle this as well if is cart is true then only i'm going to render this text otherwise i'm not going to render this text okay now you can see that it's become dynamically awesome now the next thing is that when we click on this icon it should navigate back to the some any other screen so how we can do that as well so to do that we have to write const navigation use navigation okay and at the place of the back icon this is the back icon so i'm going to use touchable opacity touchable opacity uh, touchable opacity okay and let me do here as well Okay, and I'm going to add a one event. I'm going to listen one on press event as well and write a function called navigation dot navigate to the home screen. If I click on this, it is not navigating. Now here what I have to suppose to write. I have to write home stack. Now if I click on this, it's navigating back to the home component. Okay, now let's Go back, to the, go back to the my cart screen now the first what we have to do we have to design a uh, cart sorry my product cart uh, sorry cart card basically so let's design that quickly so I go back to the here and I'm going to create one component name as a, a cart cart card dot jsx and I'm going to type rnfes okay and let's go back to the uh, cart screen okay and I'm going to render this cart cart component 
okay and i'm going to comment this code okay now basically what we have to do first of all we have gonna one image okay so let's uh, render one image quickly image okay and source here what we have on we want uri so let me copy the uri of any image so i'm going to you know i went to the data inside data JSON, and i'm going to use this image okay so i have to just copy this image let's go there and i'm going to assign a variable called const image url okay i get this image url and this is the url uri gonna be okay now uh, nothing you know nothing is we are able to see right now so we are called stylist as well st st style is equal to styles dot uh, cover image cover image okay now let's write the style for this and we're gonna have a container as well styles dot container okay now the container gonna be like we're gonna apply some styling for the container as well and the cover image as well so if we check the cover image so we're gonna have a height as a 125 and it will be 94 okay so height will be 125 and let's add a width as well so the width will be almost what uh 94 right so i'm going to write a uh, 50 version width for sure okay let me make it 20 percent i think the width will be gonna be 20 percent perfect let me make it 30 percent i make it 30 percent now it's looking 25 percent looking better i think okay now we want some margin of vertical as well margin vertical will be 10 okay to get the image down after that uh, let me add uh, some one more uh, uh, sorry uh, basically a padding something like that let me add a margin as well view and we're gonna have a capital view and here we what we supposed to do let me add uh, some margin style is equal to styles dot header container okay and let me add a styling quickly add a container and the margin vertical margin vertical will gonna be 10 okay I think margin top gonna look much more better and we're gonna have a margin top as a 20 uh, no margin bottom margin bottom gonna be 20 perfect now let's go back to the hair and set the card card and we're gonna have a another view and we're gonna have a style this style is equal to styles dot card content okay so the first text which we are gonna have a title and name is a okay let me add a title text so let me add a title quickly text and we're gonna have a like jacket jeans and the second is called price price as well okay so let me add the price as well okay now inside the card container uh, let's style this as well so card container direction it will be become go for now okay uh, my bad I think this container become flex tags in another row okay now the image and that uh, is gonna be same size okay now uh, after that uh, let me make it card content will be flex is a one flex uh, flex is a one so it will take the whole width and height okay now we gonna have a one more uh, item as well uh, let me add that the delete icon quickly oh uh, let me add 
so delete icon we have to write class okay so I think I I need this icon something like this uh, let me check it out so I think this font out of six icon class icon will look, look much more better okay so what we have to do we have to import import uh, font out of six from react native vectors icons slash font out of awesome six okay and we're gonna have a render this like this we're gonna have a name property name gonna be anything what you want supposed to be so name will be a trash for now font awesome six mm, yeah the, this trash so the name will be trash now as you can see that and the color which the color which uh, the color which I am supposed to be that is this color let me copy paste that color as well quickly this is the color uh, yeah perfect the size which I want the size will be 22.5 uh, to size let me add a size as well size will be almost 25 okay now if I load this you can see that we get the size as well and which is looking too much greater so I just make it smaller as a 22 okay now you can see that perfect now we are having a card content so we have, let have style this as well style is equal to styles dot uh, title and we're gonna have a price as well style is equal to styles dot price okay let me add a title in the price is styling for this and card content so we're gonna have a title uh, the title the uh, the title gonna be like you know 18 font size will be like this font size will be 18 color gonna be this color and after that uh, what I supposed to be uh, price the price color will be gonna be like this uh, let me add that as well quickly price color gonna be 79797 and we might getting some error let me add a comma quickly here okay now inside the card content we want margin uh, horizontal will be almost 10 okay now after that uh, I think we gonna have a one another circle and the size as well so let's do that as well and we need some margin top as well so margin vertical will be gonna be 10 okay now the font size which I want is gonna be 20 and the font weight which I need is called 500 okay and the same for this I'm going to do font size okay let's do like this okay cool the font size which I want the 18 and after that uh, after that what I supposed to do for the price I think looking better let's add another stuff as well so we gonna have a one uh, you know color and the size L so let's add that as well V okay and for the first thing is called circle okay and we gonna have a view style is equal to style start circle okay so let's do that as quickly so the circle will be gonna be height and width the height which I want 32 32 32 width gonna be 32 border radius gonna be 16 and the background color which which I want that is called 
this color okay now you can see that we are getting this here right not a big deal now another thing is that we want size as well so let's add that as well and this is gonna be inside here let me cut there from here and we're gonna have a like this okay and I'm gonna name it it's called style style dot uh, styles dot circle size container okay let me scroll down and the circle size container gonna be flex direction as a row okay and the margin horizontal margin horizontal will gonna be 10 my bad I think it's gonna not be margin horizontal circle size container okay now another thing which I want that is called uh, this size right so we're gonna have a view inside this view uh, we're gonna have a size as well so let's add a size for that as well so the size will be gonna be L for now okay and we're gonna have a size size circle okay size circle and after that let's style this as well background color gonna be white and the uh, height and the width which I made the height and the width is like almost uh, uh, 32 32 so let's add a 32 32 32 width gonna be 32 as well okay now as you can see that is looking like this let me reload this so to make it much more good okay so let's add a border radius as well border radius will be 16 okay now it's become center justify contain center and the array item center to make the center okay now I need some margin left will be 10 okay now I had given the margin left as this 10 now I'm gonna call this style is equal to uh, size text styles dot size text okay now let's do that as well size of circle size text the font size which I want is gonna be 20 if I make it 20 it become too much longer which I don't want if I check it out the font size is like almost 18 so let's make it 18 and the font fit which I want is almost 500 okay not 5500 okay now 500 Cool. now if we just you know go back to the card screen and if we just loop this card count so you can see that we are getting the data like this awesome now we need some image height 125 uh, okay so there's one thing which I just want height will be 125 and we need some border radius as well so the border radius which I want is is 10% uh, and make it 10 percent so it's looking better and we're gonna have a you know on the touchable opacity on the trace icon touchable opacity we gonna have a touchable opacity here as well now you can click over if if I'm able to click over so I think there's some error is coming border radius updating so if I check it out, uh, let's check it out quickly. Okay, let me re reload this quickly. And after that, what I'm going to do basically border radius uh, will gonna be 20. If I reload this, 
Mm, yeah, perfect. Now, what I'm going to suppose to do basically, uh, what I was telling key. So basically, we are having like this, right? And we are selling the image as well. So let's go to the image cover image. Border width will be twenty five percent, and the height. Okay, perfect. Now the next thing which I want is called this things total shipping grand total. So let's add that as well. So the first text will gonna be have a total. Okay. Now another text will gonna be shopping. And after that, we will have another text called uh, swapping. Okay. Now uh, let's add the styling, you know, content as well. So we gonna have a view, and inside this view, we gonna have a this view, and we gonna have a inside a view, and we gonna have a text. Another text is gonna be a uh, price value that is called what or a one double line. Okay. And another thing is that we have shipping and shipping charge is like almost zero. So let me do that as well. Okay. The total and the ship. This is the total value. Uh, which we have write, written now let's add a same shipping value as well okay now to add a shipping value what i have supposed to do basically now we have i'm going to make it in the place of zero dollar i'm going to make it zero dollar basically okay now uh this is how we have to do it but there's one cast that it should be some price as well like you know some margin as well so styles dot price uh, container okay the price color which I added style is equal to uh, price styles dot price uh, price okay and price price and title okay and same gonna be for this as well styles dot price and title okay so i'm going to just copy paste in that all the stuff okay now if we check it out perfect now uh, price and title here we have and we're gonna have a style is equal to styles dot price and title perfect now what i'm going to do basically i'm going to write like this flex direction as a row okay and justify content will be space between a space between okay and we gonna have uh, some you know a uh, margin horizontal as well margin horizontal gonna be 20 and after that we're gonna have uh, some divider as well so and let's add a style to the this text as well style is equal to styles dot text okay now again let me copy this again again and again the size text gonna be uh, let me do that as well the text is styling gonna be looking like this uh color will be this and font size is 20. color gonna be uh this color and the font size which i want is called 18. okay now if i load this it's looking better right now we want some another you know uh this uh divider as well so let me add that divider as well okay to add a divider what do you have to type styles dot divider divider okay now let me do that 
and for the price content what I supposed to do basically uh, price and title price container basically I want some um, margin top margin top gonna be uh, 14 for sure for now for margin top gonna be 14 okay now let's check it out yeah now we gonna have uh, some uh, margin vertical gonna be 10 I think 5 looks okay 10 looks better now we're gonna have a divider as well and the border border with uh, for the divider we're gonna have a border width of 2 border color we're gonna have a this color let's add that as well okay now I think border width will be gonna be 1 and let's add a some you know margin margin vertical gonna be 10 okay now after that we gonna have a grand total text okay so let's add a grand total text as well so just copy this existing text and just pasting this okay and instead of saving what we have what we need that is called grand total so let me do that grand total okay and the total price is called one double line so let me add that as well okay now instead of having a like this so we can have a like this style dot text and another parameter called color gonna be black okay and we need some font weight as well the font weight gonna be 700 okay perfect now after that we have want another button called checkout button so let's add a checkout button as well so we're gonna have a touchable touchable opacity and inside here we're gonna have a check it out button okay so let's add a checkout button and styles dot styles dot checkout container okay now let's add a checkout container as well uh, background color will be gonna be like this this color let me replace that okay now as you can see that we have replaced this checkout container with this color and nothing is happening why because we are using touchable opacity we are having uh, another thing called uh, text as well style is equal to uh, style dot button text okay now we gonna have a button text as well right now a font size which I want is called 25 and the width which I want is called 100% and still oh my god that's why it's not working because I have to give background color background color and that's why okay now we're gonna have a margin margin vertical gonna be 10 okay and the color which I want the color which I want is called white text align text align gonna be center okay now for the button text we're gonna have uh, some padding will be 10 as well okay now let's add uh, some border radius to this of 10 okay now you can see that we have a checkout button as well now if we can add a more item here as well so we can have a uh, like this cart and you can see that it's not scrollable to make that scrollable what we are going to do basically oh, we are gonna have a, a flat list instead of having a normal like this so let me do that as well so we are gonna have a oh, like this flat list okay. flat flat list 
okay and we're gonna have a data for sure for now i'm going to pass some static data and we're gonna have a pass render item we, as a card as a card card basically and we're gonna have a, another item called render header okay header this data component inside that uh, what i'm going to supposed to do basically i'm going to do like this we have to just copy this all this stuff okay i just cause that and i'm going to dump it here okay now you can see that another thing is that uh, we are having a render item as a card card okay and after that we having uh, this product card as well so let me remove this again card card okay and if i reload this so you can see that this is how this is looking like this uh, and that's too weird okay so the, this price content let me cut it here from there and this one is also from here again we can see like this and after that uh, we're gonna have a called list footer component here we have to pass this item instead of passing in the Honda header side okay now you can see that we are having a cart price as well awesome i don't want to show this is called indicator as well okay so let me uh, remove this properties called indicator okay so it's vertical indicator will become false okay now we can just call it anyway okay when we click on checkout it will check out that okay and let's add a, a content container style and the padding bottom gonna be 40 for now okay now let's make it 100 make it scrollable mode okay now after that what i supposed to want uh this is how we can make it uh sigma so i click on this add, click, add to card minimum and it will looking like this okay so that's all in this video in the next video what we are going to do basically we are going to uh, we have seen this we have done this we have done this we are going to use async uh, uh, storage and we are going to use use context hooks to store the data so yeah that's all in this video guys see you guys in the next video thank you bye hey guys welcome back to the course in the last video we've seen that how to design this card page as you can see that currently we have some static data okay now we have also a home page which we have seen now when we click on any product it will open the portal with this page and we can select the size and the color and when we click on add to cart nothing happening but if we went to the add to cart it is looking like this so basically in this video we are going to make this all the functionality workable so let's get started first of all uh, what i'm gonna do uh, whenever whenever users clicking on uh, this product details page we were waiting there right now what i am trying to do basically uh, uh, what i'm trying to do that if user uh, you know we are going to store the data in async storage okay and after that we are going to have a context provider and use context hooks so there we gonna store the data perfect now let's create a quickly uh, context so in the source directory i'm going to create another folder called context context and i'm going to create a called one context called card context okay so how do we create a card context basically let me clarify you quickly so first of all uh, we we have to do like this const card context is equal to create context okay and we have to import it after that uh, we have to also export this because we need in future after that we're gonna have a again export const uh, we're gonna have a const card provider okay here we get the children whatever the ch children and after that if we scroll down uh, okay now here what we have to do we're gonna have a, some state whatever we want to do like basically const Ca uh, cards set cards and use state 
we're gonna have a value as a empty uh, data perfect after that we are having uh, some value like you know const value is equal to an object where we having a cards where we are returning this cards after that here so basically here we are returning a component called a cart uh, context cart context dot provider okay and uh, like this okay and let me close this as well cart context so this is gonna be cart context okay dot provider and we have to close it so to let's close it as well okay here what we have to do here we have to pass the children like this okay and after that here we have to pass the props as a value as well perfect now this is how we have to pass now let's suppose if i make the currently cart items value one two three okay and you can see that this is causing some could not find cart context did you mean okay so what i make this typo uh, i make a typo like you know the cart context would be like this usually which i prefer now as you can see that what i just, just created i created a cons create context export const cart context is equal to create context after that i created a cart provider where you are getting a children and inside the cart state we have initially defined a one two three okay and what uh, we are returning we are returning a cart context for provider we had passed the value the value is a this value and we are having a children okay now after that what we have to do we have to go inside the root app component and here i have to basically uh, wrap the card provider and let me see let's go to the card context we are have to export also this card provider okay and we have to wrap the app root app component with the card provider okay and like this perfect awesome now after that uh, we are good to go to use this context let me show you example here only so let's suppose uh, i am on the bottom tab navigation on this tab navigation okay now i want to uh, show the here basically uh, the content uh, the number of uh, items count on the bottom okay so let's uh, go to the this cart screen on the cart section uh, and let me do like this instead of doing like this i'm going to do like this and returning a component like this returning a component like this okay and after that let's do like this const uh cart uh cart context not cart context basically we can do like this we have to import the use context hooks here what we have to do we have, we have to pass cart context okay and if you do just you know just structure the uh, value basically we are getting a value so we can have a value but i'm going to structure the cart as well quickly and if i show you the console what we are getting inside the cart so you can see that currently we are getting a cart as undefined and that's too weird so let me add a variable called const value okay and i'm going to console the value and let's check it out what we are getting so you can see that we are getting one two three right so the right key will be cards okay so after getting the cards uh, we have to show the count okay so we gonna have like this so basically what i'm trying to do guys uh, you can see that here we are showing uh, the number of counts one two three whatever right so basically i'm going to create a view okay and inside that view we gonna have a view and inside that we gonna have a text and the count cards dot length length okay now you can see the currently it's showing three because we have inside the cards provider i passed only three items if i make it two so you can see that to come two i think yeah it to come two okay now let's go to the uh, app.jsx so we have to add create something like this, this kind of ui okay so let's create uh, quickly create it so we're gonna have a view inside that we're gonna have a, a style i'm going to style this okay and we're gonna have a height as a, a basically 14 
and the width will be gonna be 40 and border radius gonna be 7 to make it circle and background color width will be this a uh, color whatever we are getting color and eventually out uh, the color become red okay now after that we have to make justify content center align item center align item center okay now uh, you can see that it is on the bottom but i want that it should be on the top of this cart icon so that's how to achieve that we have to add position property i'm going to apply position relative and for this view i'm going to apply position absolute position absolute uh, from the top uh, i'm going to make it zero and from the right i'm going to make it zero so if i make it top right zero left right zero so it is looking like this okay but it should be uh, from the right it's gonna be 10 if make it 10 okay not too good so it should be some uh minus 5 if i make it minus 5 okay awesome minus 10 minus 10 not 5 only so i make it minus 10 okay and the right direction will be minus 5 as well uh, minus 5 I make it minus 5 yeah, something looking better and let's increase the size well as well so the font size gonna be uh, this for this it's almost uh, 10 pixel okay so it's gonna be 10 and the color which I want is called the color which they have passed sorry font color my bad color will all we have to just pass color property as a white as a white i think yeah so you can see that we are getting the oh uh, this card looking this amazing okay we have to also add a font weight as 500 if i make it 500 awesome now nice looking so you can see that whatever we had item that is gonna throw the count perfect so let's summarize this stuff quickly what we had done here so first of all i created one context by using inside the card i created one folder called context inside that i created a card context using the create context after that i, I created one card provider and inside that we are getting the children and we are having some we define some state like cons, cost set cost uh, set cards and we have like one two we are having a value one we are having a value object inside that we are passing these cards and after that we are returning a component card context dot provided we are passing this value p on this value props and we are just returning the children as well okay now we went to the home app.jsx inside the uh, this inside this cart we are using the use context hooks here we are getting the cards okay and having a um, mui icons uh, and we have applied position relative and another, we have created another div for this icon, this you know, round circle by applying the position absolute. We are giving top, from the top minus 10, from the right minus 5. So it is looking like this. And we are just rendering the cards for length. Perfect. Now, after that, what we are supposed to do basically, we go to the home screen, we click on there. Okay. Now, whenever user click on add to cart, it will get added to the, this cart context. Okay. So we have to create one function called. Uh, uh, we have to create one function called uh, called const handle. Okay, we have to create a function called add to cart. Okay, and we will get the item whatever the user want to add. Okay, so we are going to do like this. If that item exists, const item exists. Item uh, exists. If item exists, so what we have to do first of all, we have to check that card dot cards dot uh, find index and we get the item okay uh, we have get the uh, cart okay here we have to check that cart dot id is equal to a uh, product sorry my item dot id if item dot id if it's exist so it's gonna return us some id but if doesn't exist if item not exist so uh, it's gonna be returning a minus one so basically what is up happening now let's suppose if item exists so it will return an interest like it could be 0 0 1 whatever but if it doesn't exist so it's gonna it's gonna returning a minus 1 okay so what we are at that point of to do 
we are going to update the sets cards with a I set card state with the uh, by spreading the existing cards okay and adding an item exist I, adding a new item okay now if I show you thoroughly quickly uh, let me show you guys so I'm just passing this state here add to cart okay and let me call this function inside product product details square okay and after that uh, let's go to the product details screen this is the product details screen here we are having a button add to cart so on press we are having on press event and we have to call handle add to cart and I am passing the item okay I'm the passing the item and let's create one function quickly here uh, const handle add to cart here we get the item okay and let's use that let's get that function to get this function what we have to type we have to write an object destruct to the object use context and we have to pass cart context like this here we get the property here we get the function called add to cart okay so let's part of the add to cart function and inside that what we supposed to do we have to just pass that item okay now as, as you can see that okay this is okay perfect if we click on add to cart you can see that the item get increased by one okay it means that item get you know uh, added to the cart okay now after adding to the cart let's see so whenever we user added to the cart we have to navigate to the const we have to navigate the user to the cart screen to navigate that we're gonna have a const navigation use navigation okay and we have to just navigate that so let's navigate quickly navigation dot navigate to cart screen okay now again I'm going back to the home screen and I'm going to select the size and the color okay. there's one more thing which I just want to add like before adding this uh, item to the this um, uh, you know adding the card we have to like you know item dot size will become selected size we are adding a property as well selected size and item dot color will become selected color okay now if I again click if I just reload this so there is one cache that you know we are using use context so we are not storing the data on async storage so whenever we reload that the state get lost right this is the one thing which I just let you know letting you know if let's click on jacket I click on add to card and it's added to the card okay now let's go to the card screen okay here what we have to do basically here we have to read the data so I'm going to read the data from like this use context and we have to pass the card context not card context okay we get the uh, cards perfect now after that uh, we have to pass this it's instead of one two three four five five we have to pass cards okay so as you can see that we are getting this only one item because only one item in the card let's go to the card card here what we are going to do here we get the item okay and uh, the place of uh, uh, jacket jeans we have to write item dot title item dot or uh, item dot title okay as you can see that and we are having another uh, key as well item dot uh, item dot price as well okay and here we're gonna have item dot uh, size item dot size okay and what else we have and the color the color is also gonna be uh, size okay size circle we have a size circle as well so you can see that uh, this is not okay size the circle circle is here background color so let's go back and what we are doing here we are gonna having like this and we have to pass like this background color will be gonna be at the place of this static color I'm gonna do uh, item dot item dot item dot color Okay, so check it out that on the card, uh, card, card, 
not uh, they are basically product is screen so we are setting the size and the color okay and let's go back to the home again okay uh, this home component and I'm going to choose winter coat the color gonna be this color the size will be action and let's check it out still it's not uh, showing that item okay let me do it again green add to cart now you can see that we are having a green color here okay uh, but the catch is that we are getting the same object right now as well so why is happening this video thing so item item dot okay perfect so i was doing mistake like i am not replacing the image so let me replace that image as well i go back and let me select this another uh cloth the pink one the size will be excel this add to card okay basically let me reload this thoroughly and we're gonna have a this 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 add to card as you can see this is working and we are getting the size as well 29 perfect now what i'm gonna do basically uh what i'm going to do basically i'm i have to install the async storage as well because whenever we are reloading that the state get lost okay so to handle that stuff we have to install and async storage so let's install the async storage so we have to type npm i async uh, storage reactive async storage okay just open this or uh, you can open this another pages anyway so i just we have to just copy this command react native async storage async storage and just install this package quickly okay so meanwhile if it's installing this uh, package so let's understand the card context in a well better manner as well so in the card context uh, we are whenever we are ad adding items first of all we have to uh, you know add item to the async storage as well so what we have to do here uh, async storage async storage dot set item okay. we are setting item and we are gonna have a cart into the the key is equal to carts and the item which I am setting that is gonna be like this basically I am gonna create one variable const new cart items gonna be this and I am setting like this json dot stringify cart items new card items and setting that state as well here and we have to use await method because async storage are time consuming async storage my bad let me reload this to get this snippet quickly so if you see the example here So we have to import uh, import async storage from the React Navi React Native async storage slash async storage. Now you can see that we have to make this function async as well because we are using await. Okay, and let me reload this, and we are getting some error that uh, async storage async storage. If I do like this. Okay, my bad. Let me just do Google. Uh, is in storage, not this, I think. React native uh, async storage. Okay, this one page which I use uh, preferably. So let me quickly find out. Yeah, I think this one React native async storage beta page. So we have to. Okay, you can see that we have to import the async storage like this. So I was doing some mistake, maybe that's why. Again, we are getting error that import transformation async storage has already been declared. Oh my bad. So it I've already imported that again. I'm why I'm importing that. My bad. Okay. Now you can see that we are having a let me reload this quickly. So whenever we are clean, calling a person add to cart, we are setting that item into the async storage, right? So if I, uh, okay, so before that, there is one more thing that uh, we are having to do. So like, you know, uh, we are having a one user effect group. Okay. So 
let me create one use effect hook quickly okay so we are going to create one function called const load cart items we're gonna have an async function okay and after that uh, we're gonna have a cons const await okay and async storage dot get item sorry set item you can see that this is our set item we are gonna have a get item okay this is our get item and we have to pass a key called carts okay we get the carts after that if you check that if carts so i'm going to replace with late if carts so what i'm gonna do if carts is equal to carts is there then if carts if carts is there so what am i gonna do i'm gonna do this one dot pass the data okay cars i'm going to pass the data otherwise it's gonna be an empty array okay and after that i'm setting this set carts the carts state okay now you can see that if i reload this currently inside the carts we doesn't have any data now let's go to the home component let's add this jacket the size will be excel and the color will be this blue and if i click on add to card it is added to the card and the count become one if i reload this it will still process the data because we are using now async storage now you can see that it get removed from the ui why uh, let me understand this quickly so we are having like this cards okay so we are not getting the we are having a zero after reloading that because we are not calling this function on the use effect so let me call this function on the use effect now you can see that we are getting the data awesome perfect so so what we had done quickly let me summarize that i created one function called load card items so we are just getting the items from the cards okay uh, using async stories and we are checking that if exists then pass the data and set the data into the this state and whenever user click on add to card we are checking that if item is not exist then create a new card items array set the that data to the async storage and set cards data with the new card items data okay now let's go to the home screen again if i click on this uh winter sorts and let me add a l red size add to card okay we are getting the data like this okay now let's create a function to do the total sum as well okay so how we can that const total sum is equal to okay we're gonna have like this okay so basically that's uh, what gonna do uh, total sum is equal to uh, we're gonna have a one state called const uh, total price set set total price and by default in the use state gonna be value as a zero okay and let's calculate the total price so we're gonna use cards dot reduce method okay we get the amount we get the item we get the amount and we get the item here what we have to do here we have to do amount plus item dot price item dot price and the next parameter will be zero and let me console the total sum as well to get the total sum okay and here we have to pass the cards okay and after that we have to set total price will be total sum okay now when we have to call this total sum function we have to call this total sum function whenever we are loading the items to the cart like this cards so if i check this out so we are getting what we are getting uh, 109 and perfect it's worth it okay now whenever we are adding add to cart so at that point of time we have to call this function as well by passing this data new my bad by passing this new cart items key okay let me reload this and we are passing carts and let's pass the another uh, property called total price as well okay so let's go to the cart screen cart screen and here we have to read a car total price as well and at the place of double one nine so we have to uh, make it is uh, you know uh, something like that let me make this dynamically 
dynamic looking total price okay shipping will be zero for now the grand total become this amount okay now you can see the currently we are having 109 let's add one more item and let's check it out what the price is gonna be so i'm i need this wool sweater this color this size add to card now it's become 149 awesome so this is how we create a ch uh, checkout uh, you know card calculation all the things all the things now what i'm going to do basically i'm going to create this functionality whenever user click on delete functionality the item get deleted from the card as well as from the ui to achieve that let's create a function another function called const uh, delete delete item from cart okay and we are getting a string we are getting the item okay we are getting item and after that what app to supposed to do const new items will gonna be uh, like this uh, carts dot filter here we get the uh, cart and we have to check that cart dot id is not equal to item dot id okay so at that point of time what we have to do set carts is equal to uh, new new items okay and also we have to update with async storage but as well async storage dot set item uh, the kid be gonna be carts and the uh, new array new items okay let's replace with the new items okay perfect now there's one thing which we have to remember that we have to use always await before the async okay now uh, after that we have to also calculate the total sum uh, because uh, we have the the value get reflected okay now let's click on this delete item form so let's understand first what we are getting that we are getting an object we are checking that we are filtering that object by if carter id doesn't exist then remove that object like give me that error which doesn't have this id just after that setting the story into the card and we are updating this card instead with the new card items instead and we are calculating the total sum for this object okay now let's pass this function delete item from card okay let's go to the card screen let's call this get this function from here okay and where is the trash icon the trash icon is i think in the child product uh, card card so let's go there and here we have where we have to do like this uh, basically we are getting the item like this we have to write card card and the item which we are passing we have to pass the item as well like this and we have to pass uh, delete okay so we are have to pass the function name any function name like delete uh, from card and the value is delete from card and the value is this delete item from card okay, i'm going to name is delete item from card okay now let's go to the card card we get the delete item from card okay and we're gonna have a delete icon this trash icon let me add a touchable opacity and here we have to pass this trash icon okay and we're gonna have on page event here as well okay and after that we're gonna have a calling this function delete from item to the card and let's click pass the item okay now if i click on any item let's click on wool sweater so the value key cards is not okay so we are getting some error the value key cards is not a string this can lead to the unexpected behavior consider it stringify this object okay so we are getting this error and basically the mistake which i had done that we are not stringify this value so let me stringify that value as well okay now now if i reload this and now if i delete this old filter you can see that the item get deleted and the price become 109 if i delete this again then now the price become 49 perfect so this is how we can do uh, this all the stuff like you know cloud on this let's go to the home screen now whenever we whenever we are reloading that it by default it's opening the card screen right so let's fix that as well so let's go to the app.jsx we have passed an initial outer name as a card screen so i'm going to remove this card screen 
and now if I reload this so by install doctor name gonna be home stack okay now if I click on this winter sorts it open this page now you can see that we are getting error each child should this should have a unique key right so let's fix that as well so I'm going to the home screen here we are having a flat list right so here uh, inside here we have to pass a one property called key extractor we get the item and we have to pass the item dot ID now if I reload this uh, now we are not getting error right if I click on this now here we are getting error on the portal with this page so what we have to do whatever place we are using map so here, like here we are using map at two place so we have to do like this we have to get the index and we have to pass the key like this index same for another map where we are using another map so here we get the index okay and we have to pass the key like this index and if i reload this let me reload this thoroughly uh, if i reload this it's looking like this if i click on this uh, let's add this leather jacket l size color will be blue add to card now the item added to the card let me remove this jacket and you can see that awesome so this is how we create this uh, uh, e-commerce app in react native here we had learned like you know async storage use context hooks all the stuff let's summarize this stuff quickly so you guys are able to understand what we had done first of all we created so inside the source that we created a context and we are creating a context called cart context so first of all what we do we create one variable called cart context and we have the value is called create context okay and we are having card provider we are getting the children uh, our children and we are define some instead like cost cost uh, cards and the total price whenever user load the first time app so we are calling this function load card items so it's getting the item from the cards passing the data and setting that item to the discard state and calculating the total sum okay whenever we are adding item to the card we are checking that if item doesn't exist then update the data in async storage and update this to this store and calculate the total sum same for the delete item card we are filtering that item which does which doesn't uh, like filter the data with item.id and we are calculating the total sum using the reduce method and we are passing them all the props which we need in our component and after that we are using card context for provider and value we are passing the value like this and so on inside the root app we are just wrapping our navigation container with the card provider and whatever place we need the data we are happy just use use context we have to just pass the card context and we get the all the values by destruction like this okay and we are able to use it so yeah that's uh, how we can design this all the stuff so yeah we had completed this designing all the stuff so as you can see that we had uh, completed this async stories we have seen the context provider so in the next video just let me know do you want this payment gateway functionality as well if yes just let me know guys so we will work together and and then that but yeah the all the course is almost gonna be over like the course is completed and let me know guys like what you learn next and if you're facing any issue regarding this uh, course just uh, hit me on the hit me on this group any message any error which you are getting on this group to join this group what you have to do you have to just open your camera and scan this so you will get into our group okay and for this code base i will provide the uh, you know for the code i will provide the github link you can check it out from there as well so yeah that's all in this video guys thank you please let me know how do you like our content and just have a one comment for this video like you know how do you feel for this video thank you bye